Welcome to Roll Seekers and the Legend of Nabel. We're a group of local gamers just like you role play for your enjoyment. We are the Roll Seekers. Hey, hello. Here, here. Here, here. What's hello. your role? Ooh, getting Ooh. fancy on you. Okay, uh, for those of you who follow us, we are coming back in September, but tonight, tonight, we are going back into Dungeon Crawl Classic to take our level zero characters to level one. Some of your favorites. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump right into the game tonight because we haven't played in like, going on two uh, months? Yeah. Too long, too long. But before we do, we have, uh, we have actually three sponsors tonight. Oh God. So Ooh. very excited. Oh, uh, so Martin Unicki, uh, a new role seeker, is also with Gaming Honors, and they are the ones that made this module. No, you no, didn't make this. This is module. not ours. I'm no. sorry, but we did make these cool pins. But you did make these awesome yeah, hero the pins. pins. We made the hero pins. Mm, plug. Check them out. GamingHonors.com. But they did just write a module for mm -hmm. Dungeon Crawl Classic. So Gaming Honors is one of our sponsors tonight. Technomancer, we have them up. All right, and then we also want to give a shout out to Dungeon Crawl Classic and Goodman Games. So Goodman Games is the uh, manufacturer of Dungeon Crawl Classic. Super excited to have them. And then finally, uh, they're having a Kickstarter right now. Our last sponsor is Dice Goblin. And we actually got our <laughs> Goblin <laughs> Dice. <laughs> <laughs> so this was such a successful Kickstarter that they are actually on a session, I think they're calling it session one, but it's their second Kickstarter. And you can get other goblins. The artwork <laughs> is really what I just love, these yeah. awesome goblins. Uh, but it comes with an awesome bag. Jamie, you want to show them their, their cool bag? The cool bag. Ooh, Ooh. look at that rope. Oh. Mm. And whatever sticker. class that you choose. You can sticker? sticker. I haven't even opened mine, I didn't even know that. But you can check them out, their, their Kickstarter is live right now. They're a great group of gamers and they are doing this for the love of it, just like us, but also uh, they have some very successful Kickstarters. So thank you guys so much for sending us some Dice Goblin Dice. We will be using it next session. All right, I want to play. I am not your dungeon master tonight or your game master. That's going to be Martin Bunicki right after our introduction because it is Tuesday night. Let's roll! Roll those dice! everyone welcome back we are entering into the very uh, to the very first first level adventure that you have ever been on with Yay! dungeon crawl classics mm. uh, dungeon crawl classics is an osr sort of old school system which means that as you learn the mortality rate can be high yes. you don't start as sort of superheroes you start as zero level peasants and that is where we began last session you all took a number of peasants uh, to follow the Sweet Spring River to find out what had dammed it up. You uh, succeeded in uh, thwarting the evil wizard Merkapan, who had been doing odd experiments on animals. Um, and now you have all gained some, some powers and some abilities. Some of you maybe just from that confidence, Trevor, you know, the belief in yourself that you could be better. 
Some of you maybe felt the magic of the ley line that flowed with, within the spring. Maybe that gave you some powers. Um, to sort of get us back in the zone, we're gonna go around the table. I'd like you to remind us who your character is, what you did as a peasant, and what sort of abilities you've gained now. So Kevin, who are you playing this sure evening? Sure thing. Uh, my character is Jamie. Uh, she is a halfling glove maker. Um, and uh, she's just gotten a little bit more feisty with uh, her stabbing. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, you're playing Jamie, which is not confusing at all, and you are a first level halfling. Correct. And just, uh, halflings have really special abilities in Dungeon Call Classics. You can share luck with anyone at the table. So if someone makes a dice roll and it seems pretty disappointing, you can give them some of your luck. Uh, you will also gain that back every night. You get luck back, whereas other players who burn luck maybe don't. Um, when you use luck for yourself, you get two points for every one that you burn. So luck is a really important feature for halflings. That's awesome. Eli, what about you? I'm playing Ronald. He's, um, as a peasant, he was a smuggler, and now he's a thief. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because that is the natural progression. Um, one of the cool things about thieves in this system is you also regain your luck every night. Um, but when you burn a point of luck, you don't just get one point, you get to roll a d3. Oh. So if you roll well, you might get three points of luck for one point you burn. Ooh, so keep that in mind. You can also do backstab, sneak attacks, but it's not the same as it might be in sort of uh, other systems. You really have to be hiding. You have to have sort of made a point of getting ready for that sneak attack. Okay. All right, Jamie, who do you have with us? Uh, I am playing Beatrix. She is a cleric hunter. Okay, and clerics are, of course, in any system, really important because they help keep you alive. Um, the challenge in this system, of course, is that it's not guaranteed. The gods can be capricious. Maybe they don't think you've been as uh, faithful as you ought to be. So every time you try and cast a spell, every time you try and heal, you're going to have to roll to see how you do. Um, anytime you roll a d20, you can burn luck. Or you can ask, uh, you, can look, you can look longingly at a halfling to see if they're willing to help you. Uh, just, just keep that, you know, keep that in mind. Okay. Allie. I'm playing Johanna, and she was a ditch digger who... <laughs> you never leave that behind. The ditch digger is always deep, yeah, it's deep, it's deep, deep you. inside you. Uh, she was very inspired by all the uh, magical things that she saw last time in the wizard's house, so she decided to study magic. She wow. found a calling. That is, so. that is quite a, a progression from yes. ditch digger to wizard. She still will use the cleaver, though. She still has. She still has some like. She still wants to. Yeah. Get get in there. Get her hands dirty, yes. so to speak. A um, couple things with wizards. If you roll a one when you try to cast a spell, you don't just lose that spell. Something terrible will happen to you, right? Good. Your body will. <laughs> your body will change. You will gain some kind of corruption. Um, so magic is uh, unpredictable. It can also be massively powerful. Unlike in some systems where you just know exactly, oh, I'll, I'll roll a 1d4. If you roll a 20, when you cast a spell, you might have a massive result. You just don't know. You're, you're tapping into the phlogiston, and it's a mystery. Yeah, she really likes utility spells. And she really likes <laughs> utility spells. And there's one other thing to know about magic in this system. If you are casting a spell, and you know the, it's really important, you can do something called spell burn. Are you familiar with this? I read over it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so if you've never played this system, this is very fun and very grim. A wizard can decide to spell burn any of their physical characteristics. So as I cast the spell, I may slash my arm with a dagger and take three points of constitution damage or stamina damage. I get to add that to my roll. So instead of luck, I'm literally burning my stats. And you can do that for strength, uh, agility, and con and stamina. Oh my God. You'll yeah. get one all zero. You'll get one. You'll get one point back. Uh, one point back a night. Okay. Oh, but uh, just good. again, keep that in mind. This is a this is an unforgiving world. But you do have tools at your disposal if you keep them in mind. And spell burn is definitely an important one. One other thing about your character that we just resolved. What makes uh, Johanna special? What's her friend? Uh, her friend. <clears throat> Which you'll find out their name 
Um, <laughs> but she has summoned a familiar. Yes. So Ooh. added yet another member of the party. Yes. So very we'll, important. We'll look you'll forward. Find, Your best out. friend's gonna try and hunt her. You won't. Ha uh -huh. Maybe. And I, I might give a <laughs> point of luck to someone if you remember that when this when this creature shows up, you could go. You look familiar. Just throwing that out. Just, uh oh. Yeah, oh, dad joke number one. The night is just Woo! getting started. This is yeah. coffee. Keep a uh, <laughs> yeah. keep it keep is. a running total of the dad jokes. Trevor, what are we at tonight? Uh, I am playing Curly, the Elven Forester. Okay. Uh, so Thank God it's not the other one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, so unlike, I would say, a majority of elves, he's actually married. Oh. And unlike a majority of the elves, he is a, a shorter man, about 5'11", compared to, you know, the 6'3", yeah. 6'4", maybe. Um, he can be quite jealous. He can be uh, antagonistic. But he's also slightly skilled with his sword sword. All right, very good. And elves can cast magic. Mm -hmm. They have um, a patron in the form of the Elf King who lives in the Fey dimension. So oh. there's that at your disposal if things get really uh, dire. But I will say that he seldom likes being called upon. Okay. Keep, keep, okay. So the, again, uh, can be really unpredictable. Um, they also have an aversion to iron. Yes. So yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's something we'll get into in the game. Uh, elves definitely like their mithril. Yes, they do. So that is very cool. All right, and Dustin. Okay, so I'm I am returning to Jacob and Toe. Perfect. Who after the last game uh, kept his chicken alive the entire game. Um, it was very important to him. Uh, so then after they defeated the wizard and celebrated, he ate his chicken and gained <laughs> oh. twelve hit points <laughs> because he became a warrior. That's wow. what happened. Uh, all right, and uh, <laughs> he beefed up. <laughs> He chickened, he chickened up. up. <laughs> and he showed that Got kind yokes. of steely resolve to, to bite into that. To kill shit. the thing he loved. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's dark. Because he, he realized how dark the world is. Yeah, you can't, you, can't ju you can't just be a lone person out there with a chicken. It's yeah. just, yeah, it's dangerous. All right, so uh, as a reminder, again, you had defeated Merkapan, and you returned to the mill where he, where he had kept his laboratory and you just ransacked the place, you know? Like, so you found some weapons there, you found some armor. You also found an intriguing parchment. And that parchment uh, looked like a map. You could recognize the Sweet Spring River. Um, and this was a few days away from where you are now. And he had marked a cave with a question mark and, it, and he had written um, Cave of Secrets, question mark? Gold, question mark, pursue, underline. And so you had decided that, well, that seems intriguing. And um, because of what you had been through and the skills you'd gained, you weren't prepared to go back to your normal day-to-day -day lives of digging ditches or cheesemongering or farming, whatever it was you did. You, you have a thirst for adventure now. A taste for it, one could say. Tastes so, like chicken. A, <laughs> adventure, adventure tastes like chicken. That is your quote for the night. <laughs> Shame. Adventure Shame. tastes like chicken. All right. So, you are going to uh, make your way in the direction of that cave. And after a couple of days of travel, um, and along that way, <laughs> Johanna, you're uh, familiar shows up. You had cast this spell and uh, it had appeared. Do you want to say anything about it? You don't have to name it yet if you're not ready. Oh, it's got a, it, it has a name. Okay. Um, I would like to tell everyone not to attack it. Yeah, that's wise. They probably saw- Beatrix they prob has her arrow pointed I to tackle it. her down <laughs> and tell her that, no, this is our new friend and, and his name is Mittens. 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 Oh, Mittens. Yes. What does this look like? Uh, it looks like is it a dog? No, it's. Is it a whale? They, they fly, right, Martin? They, really they do. Fly. Oh it yeah. It looks like a bird a meshed with a cat. Oh. You actually we saw one of those. Fought yes. one. Yes. Of, yeah. You yeah. fought one of these. These were oh. one of the creatures. Scary creatures. That See, Merkin when it popped up, I had good reason for wanting to yes. hide it. To turn back. So it does. It has the. It has in, uh, instead of talons, it has paws. 
yeah, instead that's of why a bird's mittens. Yep, instead yeah. of a per, uh, instead of a bird's head, it has a, a cat's yeah. head, but it has wings and it flies. So, yeah, and it meows, which is fun. So yeah, so mittens <laughs> arrives and sort of perches on your shoulder, and uh, you finally reach the area that you had seen indicated on the map, and your pulse quickens as you spot the cave. And near the entrance, there is a simple weathered sign uh, that, that's sort of like flapping in the wind. It's like hung on a chain, and it just reads, enter. And you see in the cave, though, it's dark. Like, the cave itself is dark. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I know that, like, we're all thirsty for adventure, but... <laughs> I thought we were going to have time to go back so I could get my other chicken. <laughs> uh, I unsheathe a mithril short sword that I found in the wizard shop. Didn't we come here for the gold? I came here because it said pursue and it was underlined. <laughs> and you yes. follow directions I, carefully. I like imperative sentences. No, yes, we're here for the gold. So we it's, have so, to go in. So it's in there. Are we sure there's any gold if it's like, if there's a sign that says, hey, come on in? Like how much, how <laughs> hidden can it be? I'm only here for the protection. <laughs> because someone had to come along. I like signs, yeah. you mm. see. Mm. It's a pretty good sign. Is there a sign on the cave? I don't know. Is there a sign? Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, enter. Yeah, Is it absolutely. just in common? Oh, oh yes. man, I smell a trap, guys. <laughs> they're like balloon oh, things. Isn't there, one, some, isn't there a class that's really good at trap detecting? Step, step. Stay back. Thieves, thieves, can, thieves can look for traps. Was it thieves? Was it? Dwarves can sense secret doors, but I think it's thieves can look for traps. I, no, I think it's elves because I read doors. it. Oh, okay. Elves, 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 okay. I can find trap oh. and Scab, disable trap. Scab is a thief, but he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a large closing trap is DC 10. This you can do that? Trap. Well, yeah. look. Yeah, you why don't you look? give a uh, give give a D20 roll. This is kind of ominous. Can't read that. 14. 14. 14. Ah, 14. All right. Um, this would include traps like Pitborn, blah, 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 blah. more subtle traps, DC 15, DC 10, even higher. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you, Jay, uh, I'm gonna tell you, Ronald. Like you're checking the ground in front of the cave. There are some footprints you notice as you're looking. It does not seem to be trapped. And those of you who have um, infravision, which I believe will be the elves and the halflings, mm -hmm. um, you can sort of make out that the cave just, you know, the entrance sort of opens up into a large cave. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. And it, the cave's got a groove. The cave is happy. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Cave of Secrets. To the cave. Uh, <laughs> um, and you see some, um, there seems to be uh, some smoke hanging in the air, like from a candle that you can just sort of distantly see. Oh. Hello? Hello? I, I Thank God I brought my pitchfork. <laughs> Uh, I put it out in front as I would, like walk towards the cave. I'm gonna. Are you gonna sir. lead the way? Did I grab any armor? You could have. Did you? I would like. Yeah, to Yeah, I think some you. Armor. I think you probably did. I have a pencil. Why don't you Black give yourself pencil. some armor, and we'll. What? When with when there's a quiet moment, you can find out what that armor. Okay, I have for you. I'm gonna write down armor. Just not. <laughs> you just can't have full plate. You yeah, want leather. Of yeah, what's leather? Leather's, Leather's plus, plus two, two. to AC. You said I would find I'd like in a quiet moment. You, you can well, get... My armor bonus is not naked right now. Okay. <laughs> so um, you are entering the cave. I just need to know who's going in first. Oh, oh. it would... Absolutely. You as soon as I see the, the curly? Table, yeah. Okay. I am like the beefiest, them? and I will not go in first. Absolutely <laughs> not. I stay back. So Yanko, oh, yeah. with yeah. your <laughs> massive strength and your pitchfork, like, you go ahead. I'd like to assume that he Popeye'd out when he ate his chicken. Yeah. Is this all forearms? <laughs> it's just forearms. It's just forearms. Oh, so somehow the, we got an ankle and chin. Yeah. And I'll, you know, in fairness, yes, you are nervous. You were once peasants, but you also feel stronger than you've ever felt. You, this is what you're here for. You're ready to try it. And the entrance passage gradually widens into a large cavern. A light smoke hangs in the air, diffusing the light from scores of candles placed around the chamber. The air has a thick richness to it, tart sickly sweet with floral under <laughs> floral undertones mm. oh. and it makes you feel oh, a little gosh. lightheaded through the smoky gloom 
Now, now, through the smoky gloom, you can see that there are body length niches carved on every wall. And in the center, there is a large obsidian obelisk standing beside a small altar. So, you, in the mid, so you've got these niches in the wall that are like the size of bodies. You've got an obelisk in the center, and there's a little altar next to it. Okay. Mm. And how far out? Um, it's about a 50 foot cave, okay. so. Or actually, it's huge. The cave is huge. We'll say it's like 75 feet. Okay, so it looked like anyone's been here. Uh, give me an intelligence check. 16. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously somebody lit the candles. They don't seem to be magical. Okay. Um, you haven't gone too far into the cave. I'm just assuming you walked until you could sort of get into the cave and see it. So yeah. I'm not going to give you a lot of detail. Okay. But you can see there is something in the altar. And those of you who have, you know, now you you can all see pretty well with all these candles. Um, you think there could be some forms in at least a couple of those niches. As a hunter, can I see if, like, there are any tracks or if I can recognize like what footprints have recently been in here, in a sense? Uh, yeah, give me an intelligence Human check. Human or animalistic at yeah. least? Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Well, that was... Okay. Six. Uh, six. Yep. How do you like that six? So that's a five? <laughs> there is a floor in this cavern. Yeah! Oh, right. Probably things have walked on it. Okay. As I see my friends like looking around, guys! I think we've entered into like a cellar. We got them on the farm. You put your meats and your produce into these little cubbies and it keeps them warm because cold because we're not outside. So you're then telling me you, there's food then here. Then does it give you the gold? What if the gold is inside of the cubbies instead of food? Or to you, food might be the gold. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Maybe these are hungry people. As, as each of you are like making your point, I'm kind of like going back and forth, like pointing my sword and then like nodding in agreement. Like just my sword is a pointer. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I point to the obelisk. <laughs> Maybe it's like some art decor. <laughs> I like to walk up to the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. There is. Um, there's a like a collection a copper bowl mm -hmm. sitting on the altar like a like a collection bowl, and next to it there are several bags um, that seem to be containing um, dried flower bulbs. Like you, like a couple of the bags are sort of open, and you notice uh, that it seems like there's dried flower bulbs in them. Mm -hmm. I've recently come across the goddess of Ildanior, and she's of nature, so perhaps these are. These are good people worshiping the nature goddess with their donation of herbs and flowers. Seems kind of culty to me. Yeah. Those look like orc flowers. What? 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 Just out you, my ass. Like orchids? Like, no, no, no. Like, come or on, orchids! Oh. Come on! Oh. I'll take my call. Oh. Two. Yeah. Put them up to two. <laughs> God, you're good at this. It's just a talent. I don't know. I can't, I can't explain. Curly just doesn't like orcs. I don't, are orcs a race in this? Mm -hmm. I, yes, they are. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, when did that get here? And I point to your creature. Meow? <laughs> oh, man. Didn't we find one of those? It sure looks familiar. Oh, yeah. point of luck. <laughs> point of luck. Temporary. <laughs> yes, but this one. Eat it. Eat it, everybody. <laughs> This one, you all wanted to. Jacob, this one's <laughs> nice, and it helps guard. It helps protect me because I didn't eat my chicken, and so I didn't gain a bunch of muscle mass. Honestly, I miss her. It was a hen. <laughs> would you like my chain so that you can keep your animal close? I would oh, yeah, know. You... I would never chain. I would never chain her. All right. Or him. I haven't figured out. If somebody wants to look and tell me what, it's a. I got this. It looks like a girl or boy. I don't know. You've got a knowledge of nature. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got it. yeah. This is the kind of thrilling adventure people tune in for. Yeah, let's check the gender of this cat bird. Did, uh, what did you roll? A four, so that's a three. 
That's a three. It's furry. Got a hole. You know, and you're a little, you're a little reluctant. To, you're a little reluctant to get too in depth in this. You know, you might have to kill it. Cats so. are extremely hard to find. The only way to know. It's the only way to be neutral. Neutral name. Neutral name. <laughs> Think Mittens is a neutral name. Maybe it doesn't have a gender. Cat um, Ronald, give me an intelligence check, please. <laughs> oh, sure. I imagine this, the the bird part of this familiar. Looks, that, wait, hold up. Wrong like, number. Uh, or oh, wrong die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two. We can't assume. Okay. Um, Great. Never mind. Never okay. mind. I like uh, my 30 more. Jamie, give me uh, an intelligence yep. check. Well, sure. This Jamie. Yep, yep. I'm on. You're I, all in I character think, now, think, uh, Beatrix. 19. Oh. Okay, so there you go. Um, Jamie, you think you hear one of the figures, like, in, in those niches, snoring. Like there's a slight like sleeping sound. Uh, using my dark vision, can I now that we're in and at the obelisk, can we can I see better into the niches? Yeah, um, you see again like there. Um, in, in, unless you tell me you get close, all you can see is like yeah, there is one form lying over here in this niche, and there's another one over here. I'll sneak up to the closest one, all right. where I could finally make out with it who or what. Yeah, yeah, so you find um, the one who's the sleeping, and it's a geriatric human male. <laughs> so older, older gentleman, um, and he seems to be sleeping peacefully. Is he alive? <laughs> Are you He's gonna... snoring. I would like to say that Jacob is over by the obelisk, just like this. I'm <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, what's going on, guys? Like I will say out. that, okay, so especially because, so you're kind of checking out the, the sleeping figure, but Jacob, you're in the middle. Um, you do notice that there is, like, off to your left on the far, at the far end of this cavern, there seems to be another opening. Um, you can't quite see off in the distance to the right, but it seems to open, you know, there, like, it seems like it continues on somehow off to the right. Um, so it's not just like a dead end cave, right? Like, you have these niches all around, but to, off to your left, there seems to be an opening. To your right, it seems like it gets wider. You can't quite tell what's going on over there. Um, this this figure, here's here's the question: whether it's dead, it wakes up and it sort of rolls over. Who are you? Who are you? I'm I'm the caretaker around these parts. Are you truth seekers? Yes. You are. Yep. Are you sure? Are you sure you're supposed to be here? I'm positive. I thought we were gold seekers. Nope, we're truth oh. seekers. Why can't you be both? What's the truth? Oh, oh well, that's very wise. Sometimes the truth is as good as gold. Yes. And sometimes gold is as good as the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Words to live by. Um, yeah, so, so would you like to know the truth? Perhaps. Well, there is a way. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Positive. Well, the cave just invited us right in. Yes, because there are, people come to find the truth if they're ready to do what they must. Is there also gold? Well, people have to leave gold. There is a tithe. Uh, you can leave an even thousand, thousand gold pieces, and then you burn a sacred bulb in the copper plate. How do we know that your truth is the true truth? Are you doubting <laughs> the caretaker of the of the cave of secrets? Is there is there insight checks in this game? <laughs> no, there is a. You can do a personality check though. Oh great! Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Six. Mm -hmm. He seems pretty, um, you know, legit. He's this, yeah, man. this man is wise beyond his years. You should listen That's to him. That's right. The only thing my grandfather used to say is that we have empirical proof that there is no empirical proof. <laughs> Do you know what that means? I, I thought maybe he your, would. <laughs> your, your, your grandfather is a fool. And he cracks you over the head, like oh. slaps you on the head, oh. and poof, he turns into a, like a wisp of smoke that swirls and disappears into the obelisk. See, how can we believe that? Oh my God. So he's fake. No, listen. That wasn't even me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I dramatic pause. I, I, I'd like to go back to the obelisk and start like tapping it with my sword. Hey, come back out here and talk to us. Yeah, okay, so um, you notice as you get close to it, you, like at the top of the obelisk, there is an eye carved into the obelisk okay. in incredible detail. And in fact, as you tap on it, it looks down at you. 
Like the eye moves in the obelisk to look at you. For some reason, I'm not intimidated by that. Mm -hmm. And I stare back at the eye and I say, I can see you in there. <laughs> That's gross. Well, he said that we can pay money to burn a bulb. But what if we just burn a bulb? I have 41 copper pieces, so that means we're only 999 and 59 copper pieces short. Can we pull our funds? I don't know. I have. <laughs> were, you, Yank, were you a bookkeeper? That's some impressive mathematics. Like, wow. Weren't one of, weren't one of you a money person? 9,000? Because yeah, one, it's, yeah. I thought gold. maybe we could burn it like together and make a wish together. What if we just burn a bulb anyway? The eyes watching. <laughs> I <can't... laughs> It's like a psychology test. Will you do things if you think someone's watching? <laughs> he didn't even present his true self to us. How do we know that he's telling us the truth? Maybe it's Jeff Bell. We have to he do... himself wasn't even the true ah, vision of what we saw. I don't want to. I don't want to like, you know, put a lot of. But he did. One thing we do know now is that we don't have empirical proof that there is an empirical proof. <laughs> so we can I mark don't... that off the sheet. I don't <laughs> think that he said we would get gold from burning the bulb. Though. No, he said that we had to pay gold. Yeah, so in order to burn a bulb. But we won't, we're looking for gold. Right. So why do we? Need why to... do we need to burn this... gold if we're looking for? Gold? I, this reminds me of this man I once knew. Who went by the name Ponzi? Like, um, was he took people's sword. gold and then promised to pay you double? And then I think that's what this is. Just, just burn it. Okay. Just burn it. <laughs> I'll take one of the flower, flower bowls, put it in the copper pan, and take a candle and just kind of like. Okay. Yeah. So you light that. You light it, and uh, you see the smoke sort of uh, curl up, and it moves. Actually, you you notice that it's sort of uh, like almost like there's an air current. It's going uh, towards that opening on the right. So again, something on your left, opening on your right, the smoke seems to kind of go off towards the right. Um, Curly, your, uh, your thought about the Ponzi uh, and what you remember of this, it suddenly makes a certain sense because you know that, okay, there's a sleeper. There are niches all over the place. Where does the gold go? If people are bringing gold here to find the truth, it's got to be somewhere. I mean, they're sleeping on the ground. What's the obelisk made of? I'm assuming nobody has a obelisk. like obsidian. Oh. <laughs> like, that's a lot of money. Oh, glass. I've got three Can copper. I detect magic? I'm 23. Uh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so you're going <laughs> to have to roll to see the result. Yes. So. I do want to throw a piece of copper into the copper pot, though. I'm going to definitely go, just, you know, just in case. It sort of ring, rings out. <laughs> 11. I mean, people kill so me just laugh. Just, just <laughs> OK, so can you read? What does it say yeah. is the result for an 11? Uh, I thought I had a favorite. Just one. <laughs> nope, 1 to 11 is a failure. Did you add your spell check? Yeah. And your level? Yeah. <laughs> OK. And are you happy with that roll? Oh, right, luck. This is Mrs. New. Can't Sorry. Get it back. Now remember, yeah, when yeah. you burn when you burn luck, you don't get it. Back. Right. Uh, hey, why don't you have some of mine, and I'll give you. Um, Just one. No, I'll give you one. Yay! So your lucky halfling comes through, and so you get a twelve, which is your lowest result, right? What right. does it say? Um, two die or same two dice, adjusted one dice, opposed one dice. That's what it says on the chart. What? It doesn't have like a. a... Uh. -uh. Learning system. Yeah. Learning system. Um, I have a very strong urge no, to throw you, this. No, you. Do you have the spell pulled up? What's the page? Oh, you need the spell. Okay, I got it. I got it. You have to. Blow that's it. just. I was looking at the chart. That's how you okay. cast. I had all these crazy dice and I couldn't find I a d20. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a d30 uh, and got a 30. The cleric is aware of magical enchantment or. or... Are you a, are you a cleric? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. All the right. cleric is aware of magical enchantment on any object or creature within range. This includes weapons or armor worn. Uh, the cleric cannot distinguish which portions of the targets are magical. What if your god doesn't want you? Uh, what, is, what, what is your, what is your range? What, no. what is the range? Uh, 30 or more. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you do notice that there is a faint aura of magic coming from off to the right. 
I'm sensing some sort of magical ability coming from over here. I don't think we are safe. You can detect magic? Apparently. Why didn't you do that yesterday when we were in the... Once you ate your chicken, I got magical abilities as well. I think your chicken was magical. I think it was all that praying you did to that god. That too. <laughs> <laughs> the, the grace you said when we ate the chicken. You, we didn't eat the chicken. You ate it all by yourself. You ate the whole chicken. But I, I found the goddess of nature, <laughs> so it was like an animal sacrifice to that, to that goddess. Let's not so get into the argument about me. who ate whose chicken. <laughs> which, god, which god was appeased by the eating of the chicken. Regardless. Okay, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's just blank slate. You guys all are doing crazy things now. We'll just keep moving forward. I found a trap. Magic. <laughs> Over there. Where? All where? right. On this right side where this little off wisp. Into, yeah, if you go off into this wisp is you, going. You head off into the cave. Guys, I've got this. I walk over there. Okay. Curly, will you head over there, please? <laughs> huh? Will yeah. you walk on over? I walk so over there. You notice, you walk over there and you see two things. Off to, uh, you walk over there and off to your left you see a staircase going upward. And that's the smokes are going obviously oh. upward. Um, Immediately to your front, though, you see sort of a, a simple wooden barricade has been erected. And if you look, there's like a deep pit, like sort of this sort of wooden barricade um, blocking off this deep pit. Can you see how far down it goes? Yeah. Are you going to look? Yeah. Yeah, if you do, it seems like it goes about 100 feet. And um, there's a there's a chilly wet air sort of dr uh, wafting up from it and it stinks of bat guano and decay mm. just like home. Mitt, go, go look that. down there and make sure there's demon. nothing important <laughs> <laughs> all right so can, okay so mitt <laughs> flies down is there any i don't know that there's any limits on sort of telepathic communication right i don't know because it's not an actual like there's no like yeah. stat block for that you know? i think so. it's gonna so what it tells you um sort of you get the sense um, you get a sort of flash in your brain of what it sees, and there's just bones all over the all over the ground. Oh, don't different hold... kinds of bones, different species, skulls. People go down there to die. <laughs> Is it a suicide pit? I bet they paid the thousand it gold. No I more bet... sacrifices. Do we need to get a closer look? And I pull out the ten foot chain. <laughs> <laughs> I take back what I said about mathematical skill. <laughs> <laughs> I start rebelling with the chain. Yeah, ten feet. Ten feet. <laughs> we need a little more. <laughs> hey, look. Stairs. And I start going up them. All right. Sword. Yeah, Sword so the out. stairs. So no, 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 okay. <laughs> put the chain away. The stairs lead up to a, um, a massive metal gate, which blocks the passage ahead. There's a large metal plate set in the middle with a keyhole positioned in the center. Um, beyond the gate, like you can see through the bars, um, there's a large stone portal carved on the far side of a, of a cavern in the image of like some monster, but it's, it's glittering with gems. Like, oh. What metal? That is a great question. <laughs> it does not seem to be iron. It's some sort of uh, complex so, alloy. There's. I see. Okay. Are the gems like stuck in there? Yeah, they seem like you know, like like it was made to it, to be fancy. Can I? Oh, but there it's on the far side. You'd have to get through this gate to reach. Oh, them. okay. We can see. There's. Yeah, you can see through the gate. There's the gold okay. right there. Yeah, so you've got this locked. It's not gold. You've got a locked gate. They sell for gold. And across the cavern, there is this portal. We can sell the gems. Is the door open? The gate. Gate. The gate. No, the gate is locked. Mm. I cast gate. I tried. Oh, wait, hold on. I How can you squeeze through the gate? Can I try to pick lock it? You can. All right. I have a negative one intelligence, so. Can I do a perception, though? I just want to see, like, do I see anything else in there? Yeah. Just um, like... So it'll get intelligence. My intelligence is. Pick lock. Um, oh, that's the wrong character. An 11. Yeah, I mean, it's not too hard to see, right? The floor, walls, and ceilings are constructed from smooth stone blocks which is in sharp contrast to the sort of natural rock of that entrance cave. Um, there's a 10-foot tall stone door carved in the shape of some sort of demonic beast. 
three oh. fist-sized emeralds are set in the door like eyes. And there are um, large clay jars at the north and south end of the chamber. Six. Yeah, you know what? I will tell you that it is a very, um, it seems like you, you know enough to think that this is a really hard lock. Even if you had like done your best, you know you would have been sort of pushing it. Okay. But you asked something interesting, um, Johanna, which is, could you fit an arm through? Yeah, or could you? And it actually, you do seem like you could get an arm through it. And um, yeah, like you could get an arm through. Do we see any handles, levers, anything like that that could open <laughs> like the door? Like you put your arm through and open no, it? No, not necessarily that, but even, <laughs> even set back into the room. You know, um... A key on a hook? So not on not on <laughs> this to an not old dog that's sleeping. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Not on this side, but since you are asking these questions, there is um, in an odd kind of design feature. It's definitely out of reach of a hand, but it does seem if someone were nimble enough and you used an implement of some kind, you might be able to un. <laughs> Uh, no. uh, 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 stand is there back. like an obvious keyholes? There is. Stand back. Please have the like it be another side and just crush your arm. While, while they're screwing around with this, I would have uh, gone back down the stairs and to that main room that we first came in. Yeah. And maybe searching around all of those niches and okay. seeing if there's like underneath some wrappings if I can just find a key where that guy was initially. Yeah. Kind of um, I uh, so okay, you uh, you don't find that, but you do find in one of the alcoves. Um, a mouse starts across the floor and vanishes under the wall, and then you uh, you thought you saw something glistening on its back, like a weird hump on its back, but you didn't get a good look oh at it um, before it got out of sight. But then sleeping in one of the niches, you actually, there's a dwarf sleeping there. <laughs> he just missed. <laughs> well, while he's doing this, like, kind of looking down, can, can, um, Jacob be behind him, like, deliverance style. <laughs> 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 it's like, if you come back, it's like, what you doing? As soon as he bends down, you're yeah. there. <laughs> you, just, you just bend <laughs> over his hook. <laughs> he goes out of the camera, and you just see Jacob. What you doing with his pitchfork? He looks like that uh, that painting. Were you saying there was yeah. something yeah. on the mouse? There was. He yeah. couldn't quite catch it, because it was just... Joanna, I need your cat. OK, I come back, and I'm going to ask Mittens to go hunt for a mouse. Okay, now it went. It can't get through the crack that the mouse went through. No, it, but, but I want your to command watch. is it for it to? Oh, you just want it to watch. I want to like look around for and okay. like Do in that thing. area. Yeah, it's sniffing and looking around. Um, the dwarf has its back to you. It's like curled. I just kind of I, I stand back a little bit and just kind of like poke him. Hello. No response. I kind of is he my, dead? I, I take my foot and kind of try to roll him over to see if there's any reaction. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it definitely you see him breathing. He rolls over, but there's no response. But the most disturbing thing is where his eyes should be is just smooth skin. Ugh. Like there are no eyes. Uh, smooth skin. Smooth skin. What's what's wrong? There's no. Um, I look. Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh I think we should leave that. Maybe. <laughs> we should... <laughs> we should I'm leave still that. upstairs kind of shaking the gate. Do you have any rations? Do you have any food on you? We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Is it only his eyes? Ooh, yeah. I've yeah. got Every, everything else about him looks fine, but his eyes are definitely missing. Is he breathing? Yeah. You've got what? We've never determined what cheese dip was, so I'm going to make the executive decision that it's a food. Um, we, I smell, okay, I take the cheese dip and smother it by the wall where the mouse went. Okay. To try to lure the yeah. mouse back out for the cat to attack him. Love it. I'm gonna poke the guy with the, bat, with the other end of my pitchfork. Sir, All were right. you born this way? What? <laughs> What I love about role playing is how things will happen that are just not written in the book. So let's first handle the cheese dip hunting. Um, I honestly thought you were spreading the cheese dip. It's a healing cheese dip, just like hummus. Yeah. Simba. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay. Um, All yeah. this by the obelisk will be yours. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Okay. Thank you for so first that. of all, okay. you you sort of prod, you, you prod the dwarf, <laughs> and the dwarf does uh, does not respond, but a small hand mirror sort of falls out of its pocket. Ooh. I'm gonna pick that up. Okay, small hand. Mirror. Write it down. Make sure. You, did you go back down? Oh, I would have gone back. I only down. know I heard you Herbie stayed at the down. gate. Yeah. Yeah, it, you're putting your hands through that, the gate. Have you ever seen that skit? <laughs> Uh, by Eric Andre, where he's like outside the White yeah. House, and he's like, "Let me in! Let me in!" That's kind of what he's doing okay. at the top of the stairs. Um, that's alert, a great approach. Alerting everyone. <laughs> I will say, um, so that's so you, they've got the hand mirror kind of, but yeah, the dwarf seems completely unresponsive. Um, give me an intelligence check. The two of you who are sort of staring at it. The hand mirror. The, at the dwarf. I'm oh. also. I mean, I'm poking. Yeah. Him, so they I give me an intelligence check. I got a three. I refuse to burn my luck. <laughs> I'll roll. Am I rolling? Yeah, you can roll. Okay. I only burn my friends' luck. Hey. <laughs> 16. Hey! 17. For okay. Intelligence. You spot um, around its neck a holy symbol. Um, and I think with the 17, we'll just say that you had heard rumors uh, that this, you know, you had heard of a, of a dwarven god of war named Klazith. And it seems like that is the sign of Klazith. The god of war? Yep. And um, Johanna, you're staring at that cheese dip, and Mittens is there, posed. And sure enough, the mouse sticks its nose out to investigate the cheese. Make um, make an attack roll with your mouse. With my with my bird thing. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, with your cat. Where did you get the cheese dip? It's, it's when I rolled for equipment. The, for it, the... it just said cheese dip. <laughs> And none of us could figure out what cheese dip was. I have holy so. water. Why do I have holy water? Uh, 14. All right, that's good enough. So here's what happens. Uh, the mouse comes out and mittens, meow, bats it with one paw. And it goes rolling. And as this happens, those of you who are down there see this, it's disturbing. Uh, this sort of lump on its back, kind of glistening uh, lump, separates from its back. And as the mouse lies on the ground dead, the, the, the lump turns, and for a moment you see it's an eyeball, and it goes shooting back under the crack. Can I, can I try to use a reflex to catch it? Yeah, go ahead. Probably won't. Stomp on it. I don't have a good reflex, so. Stomp on it? No. Uh, nat one. Yeah! It's you uh, know. You know what? It's your eye. <laughs> <laughs> It sort of stings and burns you. You're gonna take three points of damage. Oh, oh but that man, would have killed, that. killed me maybe Back in the see. day, yeah. I know. <laughs> yesterday, oh. I would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you traveled yes, for a couple sir. days. <laughs> a couple <laughs> days. You so you, uh, how's your pin looking? If they, if your party looks at you, do you seem, still seem kind of well, healthy? Well, yeah, because I have my familiars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Because with Normally, clerics around, I, I want to make sure people are paying attention. So before the injuries. familiar, I would have been like at half health. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> when did you get attacked? Um, All right. It's a character choice. So <laughs> after, after my little tantrum at the top of the stairs, I start looking through my bag, and I have a, a set of tongs, like yeah. cooking tongs, and I'd definitely be reaching through that gate trying to, you know. Love While it. he's doing this, can Yeka be delivered? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know your role. Yes. Yeka um, <laughs> brings out a I band I show. I got this. What to do? Yeah. <laughs> Give me, an, know, a, know, give me an agility check. Give me an agility check. Agility, Trevor. Uh, <sighs> Sorry. Curly, you, yep. <laughs> 18. Yeah, it's actually not too tough. You uh, you manage to click, grab it with those tongs, and psh, the gate swings open. I'm downstairs. I just oh, I go in by myself. It's okay. okay. Uh, that dwarf's <laughs> eyeball just rolled back under the wall. How are we sure it's the dwarfs? What did you get well, there? Who else is missing eyeballs? What did you grab? I got a hand You can't just go around trying to grab eyeballs, Johanna. Uh, it was well, look at it. I don't want to. What's, is, does the hand mirror look fancy at all? Or is it just like a no, normal hand mirror? That's pretty simple. I got the door open. You call that down? Yeah. Okay. What if What if you take does the mirror? Echo? It does. Oh, yeah. It echoes all, oh, all through the place. What if you take the mirror and put it down by the crack, and the eyeball will see another eyeball, and thinks it's like the other one from the same head and it comes out to be with him so they can be together again. I'm gonna try that. That sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have an enjoyment. Yeah, so you, you take that mirror, you shove it down at the crack. <laughs> Makes sense then. And you wait. Yeah, I'll wait. Guys. How long are you gonna wait? Um, All right, that'll keep him occupied for a while. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> 
So now you're in this room, and again, there are jars to your left, there are jars to your right, there is a, um, a large sort of stone door carved in the shape of a beast, and it's got these gems as eyes. Did the guy move at all when I hit him with this? No, I mean, I'm gonna he really. Him then. Yeah, okay, and you do find uh, D8. Um, are you the thief? No, you're not the thief. You're the no, but like I'm here. The warrior. I'm looking for a wallet or some you kind find, of Yeah, you find uh, four copper pieces. Oh, okay. And a blockbuster video card. No, just the four. <laughs> just the four <laughs> copper. Oh, he's been here a while. I'm not gonna steal his money. <laughs> he's, he's been, been here a long while. <laughs> well, guys, um, I've our eyes start walking. He, he, wait, hang on. I got important things. This guy worships a god, a, a god of war. Well, now how do you go know? tell Beatrice? She's all into the. Did gods. you want that? He had that thing around his neck. Did you want no, it? You're no. leaving that. My character's like thinks that they're all warmongers. He's very prejudiced against this guy uh, <laughs> and his followers. I'll, I'll take it though. Because you take it? Character it I like it. I'm, <laughs> just, right. I'm just asking. I run upstairs knowing the door is open. Yeah, okay. One. So yeah, yeah, I want those door? gems. Okay, yeah. so the door is open oh. and the gems are there. Story what are you doing? I want to okay. try to get him out with the dagger. Oh, right. absolutely. Now, what are you trying to do? Can you please absolutely. be careful? In I'm, on the, I'm on the so, other eye. Are we this, is the, this is the gold oh. that we were looking okay. for. Are we so, walking up together? It's yeah, everybody went easy. in there. Yeah. Um, Johanna, you said it first, so I think it's going to be you. Okay. Um, you. You have your dagger and you start to pry at have you not it. seen the movie The Mummy? And, uh, <laughs> I can search for traps. <laughs> Whoa. So scary. Can I One of the ready scariest things I've ever seen. Can I ready? The mummy was not as scary Just as that scary um, thing that crashed. As, as you foot. touch the as you touch the gem with your dagger, um, you shake for a moment, and your eyes oh boy. roll out of your head. Oh! Like they, oh they, they roll out of oh. your head. Will you hand this to oh. Allie? Oh! Ooh. Allie, please put that over your face. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, there you go, because you can control your eyes, okay? Okay. Um, will you hand this to Allie without looking at it? <laughs> put that in the slot. Allie, Allie, please read that. Out loud or just No, me? to yourself. So yeah, you see this, and her body, I will say, her body sort of collapses to the ground. Um, and her eyes are sort of sitting there as a pair down on the ground. Kind of. Are they still all squishy? Um, they're like eyeballs, yeah. When I, oh. I want to roll her over. Did her, did her eyes turn what? smooth? What like the oh yeah, her stairs? skin, her skin is uh, like, like it's just like as like, though she never had eyes. But like, there's, it's not like the cord is attached to her eyes. No, it's no, like they're like holes. rolling, rolling, oh, orb, rolling. Oh, orb. Oh, can, um, am I not allowed to talk? You're not allowed to talk. Oh man! I'm gonna try and I'm gonna collect the eye. You're oh. going to collect the eye. And you're not allowed to snap. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? 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 You're trying to show me something. Okay. I'm holding, I'm holding my eyeball. So her eyes start to move around <laughs> frantically, um, and you realize that she was trying to get you to look up as the giant spider descends from the oh, ceiling. No. Roll for initiative, and you uh, can roll for initiative. Uh, while she's saying that, though, my character's like, D -d 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 "Don't look at anything." <laughs> 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 Martin, question. Yeah. So in in the Ooh, uh, a nat twenty. Nice, as eyes. And, um, <laughs> you get a plus one to initiative because of my warrior. Gets yeah. a plus one for their level. I think that's right. Yep. In the so um. Okay. What is initiative? In, in the handbook, uh, it said that as I hit level one as an Probably elf, I get two mithril items. I was not in. Or as I start. I don't know why I'm looking. I, I kind of want <laughs> like that mithril. <laughs> Chain mail, kind mm -hmm. of like that you would see in like Lord of the Rings or something sure. like that. I don't. I understand the chain mail might be a little high on the AC, so even if I take a lower AC but have that flavor, yeah, yep. okay. that sounds good. Eighteen. All right, hold on. Oh, gonna, okay, so Curly, what's your initiative order? What's your initiative roll? Curly. Curly. Yep. Trevor. Yeah, eighteen. Okay, and don't forget if you have a what? bonus to give it to me. Um, and uh, Beatrix. Uh, I rolled a ten. Okay. Uh, Johanna? Uh, nat 20. And did you have a bonus or anything? No. Okay. And Jamie? Okay, sorry. Sorry. Jamie me off so uh, <laughs> I know, it was so <laughs> mean. Uh, 19? What was that? Uh, do we, do, uh, what do we wow. have? Agility? Yeah, if you have uh, an agility. Zero. Okay. Oh, crap. So I have to add a negative one then. So I, I mine's not. All right. And then, uh, Ronald? Uh, 13. 
So mine was a 17. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Got a plus one, minus one. Yeah, happens. So you said it's a 17? And I'm rolling in here, so I rolled out, so that's why we rolled. I dare you. I think it was a 30. I think it's a 30. You cheater. No. That's our roll. Mm-hmm. Cheater, cheater. I bet oh, you cheater. eat pumpkins. I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, luckily, <laughs> this game. So because you had, wrong, 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 you, know, you had a little bit of a warning, you weren't completely surprised, especially because um, Beatrix, you had been staring at these eyes. You were going to try and grab them, but it, they just kept flicking up, and then you looked up just as the spider um, descended, but Johanna, you're first in the initiative order. Okay, so look, my, but I'm, my body is just... Just lying there. Okay. What can I, can I do anything? Your eyes can move. And look at things. And look at things, yep. And, 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 and when I say they move, they literally can. Like, you have a movement speed. Oh, that's, that's creepy. Eyeballs. So if you wanted to sort of scatter Yeah, you can over. scatter out of my hands if you want. They'll scatter roll towards roll my roll body. Roll you know, maybe, yeah. those yeah. maybe, yeah. If, you, okay. maybe if you separate your it's eyes, just in case one gets destroyed, rolling. you still have one good eye. No. <laughs> um, can I, do I have, roll, roll, like, roll. any type of mind? Yeah, you do. You do. Um, then I, I would command my familiar to, like, protect and... Yeah, that's fine. You will not be able to cast spells. You don't have a mouth. You don't have... Yeah. You know, but yes, you can still t- telepathically communicate okay. with your familiar, and so yeah, you tell it to protect you. Yes. And yeah, so it flies down. You know, you're 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 fragile, so it doesn't want to put its paws on you, but it's sort of in front of in front okay. of your eyeballs. Uh, Jamie, the spider. I am. Yeah. Is about. I'm going to say it's about five feet away from you. Okay. Yeah. The moment it comes you. down, if it drops, and I'm I'm gonna stab with my eyeballs. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Owls. A W L S. Glove maker. I'm a glove maker. My oh, owls. You're, you're, my owls. And you're, so you're half <laughs> one, right? Correct. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna, gonna, you can yeah. have that attack. And remember, <laughs> if you attack with both weapons, you're uh, D six. Just slapping. Yep, yep. Okay. So go ahead. Let's make it right First one is a five. Did you get special dice? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, that's a five. Oh. Like mine. We we add. Strength. Yes. For me, the attack. Okay. So that is a three then. And then this one is a four. Yeah, so maybe you're just a little thrown off by this giant spider, but that does not do it. Um, But Curly, you had already, so you had your tongs out, but I don't know if you put them away to get a weapon. Yeah, I was uh, taking out my sword to do the same thing, and then her eye popped out. That's right, you did say that, yeah. So I stopped. Yeah, that was a good call. This is for the smart thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and... How far is the spider from hitting the ground? It's, it's, I mean, it's probably about seven feet up on the wall now, so you could reach it. Mm, okay, so I haven't read this spell all the way through and don't know how this really works, but I'm gonna go ahead and cast <laughs> ba, 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 Choking Cloud at it. Okay, now I do, I just wanna point out, it is in combat with uh, Jamie. So I don't know what the radius is of Choking Cloud, but unless it's very short, you might just drop that cloud on everybody. Yes, don't have like any hit points. Kill him. Okay, so let's see. He let's leveled see. up two characters for a reason. So depending on, the might radius well is almost them. dependent on how high I roll. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you could roll high enough to put this whole <laughs> cavern into. Yeah, let's see. Oh, and it's, okay, it's kind of blurry, but, and uh, radius of 20 feet seems to be the average. So that's going to be the whole room. I'm going to say no to that. Okay, instead, that's a good choice. I'm going to go ahead and swing at it with hey, my you King master. Okay. You are so kind and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Ooh. Okay, that's going to be a miss. Would you get to add agility as a short sword? How does that... No, it still be... It's just strength. a flat roll of strength still? Yeah. Okay, so miss. What was your score? Three. Yeah, that is... <laughs> you didn't roll a one, did you? No. Okay. No, no, no. Right. Okay, so um, out of um, Jamie and Curly, who has the lowest luck? What's your luck? I am 13. What's your luck? Oh, oh, yeah, an ten. eight. Okay, no, so this spider, um, <laughs> it goes after you with its... Um, actually, no. It is going to shoot out this webbing 
I'm not scared. Comes flying out, and I need uh, reflex saves. Definitely, I guess, from you and you, and I think also Beatrix. So Curly. Okay. Okay. And actually, why don't you give reflex? me a mittens too? Mittens. Yeah. Reflex. Reflex. Okay. Yeah, three. Ooh. Do I add my thing plus his one? Yeah. Four. Can we get a plus one over the warrior? Eight. Oh, you're not a warrior. Fourteen. Okay. Anyone who rolled uh, under, plus two. if you rolled under my a twelve, this webbing comes sort of falling all over your bodies, right. and you're immobilized. Right. Oh no. Mm. Mm. But Jacob, because you had not told me to rush forward, it's your turn, and you are not eyes. caught in it. Right. <laughs> right. So now you, I lose yeah, my you eyes. look up and like, holy oh, oh, cow, no. what is going on? Should I save my friends? <laughs> <You're> so yes. <laughs> so do I, um, I'm sorry, but as a warrior, I get a plus two to like my attacks? Oh, to your attack. I thought we were talking about reflex save. Um, oh, I only got a plus one for that. Yeah, I, no, never mind. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know if we got a plus one for like the. For your level? Yeah. I think you do. You're getting a base attack, like a base attack bonus. I thought, yeah. okay. Yep. And remember, you get to roll the D3 D die. Yes. So my character looks around and he sees everybody's just all messed up, but he, he rushes forward. I'm going to try to buy him some time. And I look at the thorax and try to jam my spear so that it pins it into the wall. Nice. Okay, that's your D. That's my D. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I'm sure that we also get to add our... Yeah, but I, I if my you, luck if, is zero. If you have a bonus. Don't you roll a okay. and if it and if that's your sign, like some lucky signs do, okay, that, some don't. Okay. But we get a plus one to our attack. Does anybody know that? I don't have it. Yeah, I think that's okay. Right. So I have a plus one. That's that's it. Come on, eighteen. Okay, so the D does not go because you rolled a one, but actually you do hit, and you get to add that one to your damage. So go ahead and roll your damage. And you're gonna add your strength too. Do you remember my first one? <laughs> it's zero. Okay. <laughs> no, you rolled the deed die. Yep. And you don't get a plus one. For your right. Okay. It's it's either a one, two, two, or a three, depending on what Thank you roll for your attack. Six! You don't have All right, so seven damage. points of damage, nice. which is a good hit on this. You it see a sort of black ichor spout like from its <laughs> mouth. <laughs> um and it's bleeding pretty heavily. All right, Jacob. Uh, Ronald, you are also not caught in this web. I'm not. Um, yeah, I'll pull out my long sword and I'll... I can't think of words. Gallantly stab it. Gallantly stabbing <laughs> the giant spider. There's D20. Oh, there it is. Stab it. <laughs> we had strength? Uh, yeah, what's your character class? Uh, oh, you're a thief, thief. right? Thief. Yeah. Remember, you can burn luck if you want. I have none. So I mean, that's a ten. No, uh, this is your luck. The ten is your luck. Yeah, you could take oh. you could take a score off of that and roll a d3 and add that result if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. If you think it'll make a difference. If you think it'll make a difference. So that's yeah. Ten. Three. So ten, thirteen. So you're thirteen. How do you like that thirteen? I don't like that you're asking me how I like it. Mm. I'll give you one more just just in case. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, so that's, that's a fourteen. A 14. A 14 hits. Okay. All right. Now we know. Teamwork makes the dream work. So yeah, that hits. And remember, you will get your luck. Both of you actually get your luck back after the after a night of rest. The D8. Guys, it's all over my face. <laughs> yeah, you, you just, now it's just bleeding. Six. Just keep it out of your eyes. It'll burn the eyes. Okay. Close it is eyes. really hurting. Like you can oh. see, a couple of its legs seem to be giving out underneath it. Um, Beatrix, did you fa you failed your save, failed. right? So you are caught. Uh, do you get it on your turn? Do you get to try to get out or no? No, you don't. No. Oh, you're stuck. Man. Johanna, your eyes, you they're just there. They're sort of looking around. Um, <laughs> what do your floor eyes see? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling floor eyes? Uh, Jamie, were you were you caught? I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> Curly, you caught? <laughs> yeah. All right. No, yeah. no, 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 I'm sorry. You escaped. I, 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 yes, I dodged. All right, then so, it's your turn. Mm, this bleeding spider. Do it. Mm. The itsy bleeding and spider. And you can attack it, attack it! Mm. <laughs> yeah, you didn't pin it, but you're just caught in it <laughs> by the spear. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll attack it. 
All right, we'll, we'll try yeah. to put it out of its misery. Oh, that's kind. <laughs> not not in a good way. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. It's an ugly okay. hit. Uh, it's an 18. <laughs> yeah, that oh! is. Uh, so short sword, is that going to be a d6? I believe that's d6. right. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. Strength. Yeah. Uh-huh. Two points. Two points of damage. That is not quite. Yeah, I know. Thank not you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, and now those mandibles, it, it it shot its web. And by the way, so now those of you, uh, you 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 can wrestle free. Those of you who are caught in the web, you can wrestle free. But its mandible is trying to close on your head. It's not going oh, to. Yeah. Going to. Thanks, Trevor. It yeah. probably is not. Yeah, that is just oh. a. Uh, miss. What is what is my AC going to be with that chainmail? Because I move it away with plus, the with the spear. Plus four, so fourteen. <laughs> I'm going to move right. it away with the spear. Right? Yeah, and Jacob, it is your turn. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> have Seeing that its mandibles go for my friend, yeah. I'm going to try to. Like, with this since this is like kind of all happening, I'm gonna try as it's going for his head to like rip my spear out, uh, like so that it, like in the away from you. Okay. You um, so would that is, be your deed? Is like you want to yeah. toss the whole thing? Like, I'll, like not toss it, like rip it in, like from the midpoint out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it says I crit on a 19, but it has to. Is that a natural 19? Thank yeah. you. Just yep. making sure. Natty 19. Ooh. Okay. Well, you can Come on! I just want to get to the people up now. 17! <laughs> that hits. And the deed goes off. So describe just what you want it to do, because it happens just the way you want it. So like as it's going it's his mandible's going for its head, I like turn the spear and rip the pitchfork like out through the side. <laughs> and then I'll do my damage. Which is yeah, you don't have to. Oh <laughs> yeah, it just tore that thing in half. Oh. Um, and the blood spatters down, and yeah, you are standing um, in this room. You know, you're, you're in the room. Can I help? It's all over. It's all over. I'm gonna go and try to help him out of his yeah. cocoon. I'm gonna go help. Yeah, you can get you can oh, get out of the. Uh, oh, I gotta throw up. I gotta throw up. I gotta throw up. And so you, have this, you have this door in front of you, and again, there are glass. There, there are like clay jars to your left. There are clay jars to your right. These sort of large clay jars. Um, oh man. Uh, with with no regard for. Uh, right. my newly found friends, I'd like to pull a link and start breaking the clay pots. Okay, which yeah. side? To your right or your left? Mm. As you're facing the door. Left. You just like All right, on. you hit the first one and like water just comes pouring out of it. Can't you just open them? Water comes pouring out of just it. Just look in them? As I say, hey -ya! <laughs> And another breaks and, gla and water comes pouring Joanna out. Joanna just lost her eyes. Yeah, I, so I will try to roll back into their eye sockets. Okay, so uh, because it's fun, go ahead and put your eye shield on. Oh, my eye shield. There you go. <laughs> That's upside down. Oh. Mini game. There you, you go. That's how she <laughs> and, yes, it, uh, you're, you're, So they roll back onto your body, and they're just like sitting on top of that flesh, but they are not part of it. And you can't, you can't seem to control the body at all. I just imagine truck tires that can't find purchase in some mud, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Like a pool is there, ball that just like I mean, Is there anything special about this water? Like if I look at it, is it or is it just plain drinking water? You're just looking at it? I'd like to kind of look at it, smell it, taste it. You okay. taste it? Yeah, yeah so right, I, I love this party. Yeah, you just put your tongue right in that. No, water I mean I like dip my finger in it. <laughs> Because I think it's head. water. You know, it's uh, it's it, it's sort of what is this? it's sort of stale, but it seems normal. It's just, it just seems water? normal water. Okay. Yep. Start doing that. And you look around, and all the jars on that side. Guys, does anybody have a okay. knife I can borrow? Listen, I have a I sword. Was gonna, I was gonna see if I could waterboard Allie to get her eyes magically. I think I got this, guys. Yeah. Somebody hold her. I'm gonna cut the eye off. Wait, no, 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 no. We gotta get him no, back in her head. No. We get him in there. <laughs> If we cut a hole open in her eyes, we can put the eyeballs back. There's no hole, so that has to work. Dagger. No. <laughs> no eyes. No. No. Yes. Dagger back. What do you know that I don't? I'm gonna go to the other side. 
<laughs> All right, and break it or just look. Yeah. You break it in a jar? I'll fix. break one. Yeah. You break it and a bunch of those like really smelly uh, flower bulbs come pouring out of this jar. So much so that like the smell for a moment, you're like a little lightheaded because there's so many of these bulbs is it in like, the jar. Is it like mildewy and, and musty smelling or is it just like a very strong? Just a strong flower kind of odor like you okay. saw in that. In the like room. old flowers? Yep, okay. exactly. Yeah, like potpourri. Like potpourri. Yeah, yeah. it's a jar of potpourri. potpourri. This is the fanciest cave. Mm. <laughs> Can I take my next cat is going to put around like oh. eye flesh? Sure. Puts it over my chamber pot. So I just wanted to, you know, just because it's fun, you notice that Ronald has gone over and grabbed a couple of the bulbs and he's like sticking them on uh, Johanna's face to see if they do anything, but okay. they don't. Mm. Just gonna like start. <laughs> that, makes sense. It. that makes sense that they don't do it. Yeah. No. Guys, I'm starting to think that maybe we need to burn the bulbs in the copper pot. Or her eyes in the copper pot. <laughs> eyes. I'm not, because they're the same shape. <laughs> they're spheres. We'll call that plan D. <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple. Or, uh, just take. For a direct. Just okay. okay. <laughs> you got him. Direct. Mm. All right, I would like to try and uh, lay on hands my friend's eyeballs. Okay. If possible. Yeah, you're gonna put that uh, the eyeballs or her face. Well, yeah, her face. Well, she doesn't know that she has this ability yet, so I kind of sure. want it to like I'm gonna be leaning over her and like touching her face and her eyes, and I kind of want my hands to magically cast it without me knowing that I'm casting. Okay, it. yeah. Or just fix my body. Forget about my. Yeah. Face. See what happens. Okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead. All right. Please roll. I've right. been rolling so bad, I hope so you we'll do. see. Well, then you're due. You that's, you that's, the it, uh, that's the way it. That's the way it works. 13? That will 14, work. 14, 14. Okay, so 14, that definitely gets you a result. Okay. I'm just not. <laughs> it does you a result. I'm not sure something. how. how does, uh, the game will continue. All right, here we go. So <laughs> you are, so you got a 14? Yes. And you are cha you are lawful and she's chaotic? No, I'm neutral. Okay, so you're adjacent, so she would get one die of healing. This is on page 31. Yes. So you get one hit die of healing, Allie. Does it actually. What if she's trying to do the like Did the organ damage? Mm -hmm. She would need. Matter. You'd need a much. <laughs> you'd need a much higher result. Okay. Gotcha. All right. This is a good. But start. you are gonna get if you because you did take some damage, right? I did take damage. Yeah. So so see what happens. I get, I heal for one. Okay. So you you feel and you notice like and uh, you're cleric, right? Yeah. So yeah. And who's your god? Uh, Il Davier. So Il Davier, you you feel the presence, the divine presence Ooh. of this God as as this healing force flows through you, and I will say, um, Johanna, you can you notice because you can control these eyes, you can sort of roll around on the floor, and as people are watching, if you choose to, you can spell things out. So in terms of your character oh, cool. being able to communicate, that is a workaround for you. Oh, okay. Just keep in mind, it's gonna take a while. You know, like if you're spelling out each letter by rolling your ice balls around, it takes a while, but you can communicate okay. as, a, as a player character, okay? How good is your cursive? <laughs> I go quicker. My um, character probably is just going to make the cat bird do things. Can I, I draw look shapes. for hidden doors, since that's kind of my thing? Yeah. Where are you? Um, I'm going to pick up her body. Yeah. Johanna, do you want okay, me so you... to carry your eyes? Blink once for yes, she and doesn't twice have for no. Blink. <laughs> look up and down. Look up. Yeah, she could, uh, she could nod okay. with her eyes. Do you want me to carry yes. your eyes? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you pick up her eyeballs. Um, you do not find any secret doors in this room, but you do notice that this door um, is unlocked. The one that you're in front of. The the one with the, the gem eyes? Yeah. It's, it's just a, unlocked? It is, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, I'm going to open it. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, you open it, and a low hum drones from the darkened hall behind the door. A loud thunk reverberates from above, and suddenly the ceiling lights up. Thunk! And there's like a, a light glowing, as if it's by torches, but you can't see a source of light. It's, it's you know, it's 
almost magical. Oh my, the light sort of comes everywhere. Um, the thunking sound continues along the length of the hall, lighting the black corridor as it goes. The floor and the walls are spotless. So it goes off to your right, the hallway goes off to your right, the spotless lit hallway, and it goes off to your left. Um, moment, moment, come, come to terms meeting. We're continuing? I'm her body. We have to find out how to get her eyeballs back in her body. We have to continue now. Okay, so you turned my idea down for nothing. Like just a just a plain old like we're gonna find another solution in this horrible place. Yes! Oh man. You know what we elves always say? No. Right is right. And I start going to the right. Oh, okay. So yeah, you. I learned uh, nothing from that. <laughs> You're not <laughs> my character. I just the two of us just kind of stare at each other. Yeah. Mittens will. And we understand. Your turn, turn my mind off. It, it, okay, this is interesting. It seems like it's just a blank wall, like it just ends at a dead end. Mm. But you notice that there the is the hidden a... door. Whoa! Yeah. Right is right, baby. <laughs> so it's yeah. A lava um, it's a lava there is a secret door there. Sure. Yeah. So I'll oh, try nice. to open it. All right, the uh, the pit goes off. No, yeah, the door <laughs> swings open, and there is a staircase going down. Another staircase, as I yell back down the hallway. Um, I'm gonna pensively take a step into the, the magically lit. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to keep going? I'm going down I'm the stairs. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's her eyes say? Meow. The cat meows. <laughs> Look over at the cat. And it paws, it starts pawing at you. Like to go? Mm -hmm. All right, all, all right. Following. I'll follow him. Okay. Curly. So Curly, you. You help me out here. Come on, we're gonna soldier. Come on, come over here. Yeah, all right. And I put one of her arms around his shoulder and the other one around mine. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. So that way we're right. this is... Yeah. All right. So yeah, you're just sort of, uh, uh, it's weekend at Bernie style. Yes. You've got the, yeah. the body, you're sort of carrying it along. It's like holding her head, and, like nodding. Uh, you're sort of dragging her feet down put, the steps. You put you get, sunglasses on her. <laughs> you get to the bottom and you notice that it, and now that, that sort of smooth cave is gone. Like now it is again sort of rough cavern at the bottom of these stairs. Um, you have, um, to your right, you see another just dead end, but you have a sense that maybe that's not just everything that's oh, over there. Brutal. And then to your left, it goes, you see the cave just descends. Like there's a passageway that- I, Spider check, spider check. Once again, <laughs> right. I look it's up. Right. All right, so you, you go to the secret door. Oh, the secretest door. All right, you- uh, it's not a team player. No, no. <laughs> oh my, no. He's a You open player. the door and of course, what you see is just uh, bones. Yeah, you look up and you can just see the wooden railing, mm. like you've come back around. And yeah, but you are in this sort of massive Step pile of bones. Oh, is this the, the are we at the bottom of the pit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Do any of these bones have anything significant on them or just like bones? You wanna dig around? Yeah. All right, give me an intelligence check. <laughs> Those are rotting corpses, just two. Wait. They're past rotting corpses. Zero. It's a it's a massive pit. You rolled a one. No, I rolled a two. Oh, but I have, have a, a minus, minus two. two. Um, you don't find anything of value, but even with that kind of like really not great roll, um, you notice that none of the skulls that you pick up have eye sockets. Oh God. Every ah. skull has a smooth like bone. Oh bone man. Where the eyes should be. This is why we have to continue. All right, you were, you were right. See? You were right. See? I couldn't have cut through the bone anyway, so had I tried. Do we, do we, <laughs> can I see in the dark any, any sort of path carved through the bones or up and over a hill yeah, things, give, uh, that's, or? Give me, give me an intelligence check. Hmm. Hmm. has no intelligence. A nine. Um, what I would say is there is a little bit of, um, it seems like there is a path from where you are standing. As if as if people had sort of made, or creatures had made their way in and out. I'll, I will less confidently start heading that direction. More, more apprehensively compared like in, to. 
I mean, just so just to be clear, like I'm just saying, like if you're looking in the bone pit, it's sort of got a. You can see people have picked their way from the, the passageway you're in to like the center of the cave and out again. There's oh, no other place okay. to go once you're in the bone. Pit. Is this the mm. descended area, or did he go through the se second secret door? He went through the second secret door. Okay. So like we're all in the main chamber. Are we just letting him do his thing? Well, I, I assumed I assumed you all went down the stairs with him. Yes. 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 And then he he just sort of broke off to the right. Yeah, so you're at the intersection, basically. I'm with Okay, you. so then at that point, yeah, I would head. I would definitely head back, knowing that that was kind of the limit. Okay. And finally, actually, somewhat cooperate and let everybody know. Bones, dead end. Right was not right. But we learned something. No, we didn't. We learned that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we learned the bones. We learned the bone thing, that it's a dead head. But all the bones had the bone over the eyes. Yes. I've been taught, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. Taught. <laughs> it just completely shuts yeah. up. <laughs> but like, we what do you think? What's your God telling you? I don't know, but my best friend is missing her eyeballs, so I think that we should continue. Not to be fair, that. you know exactly where her eyeballs are. Yeah. <laughs> They're just <laughs> not where they belong. <laughs> Why so, should we head down the dis like not to the bone room? Yes. So I face I wanna face I think that's a dead end. No. Oh, no. Uh, no. I wanna I wanna face work. back towards the spider room <laughs> at the intersection. Right, so we're at the intersection, and I want to face back the way that we came from. Yeah, so, okay. And I say, I say, you want to know the great thing about going right? Depends on your orientation, and I take off to the right, so which would be the other direction of the skulls. Towards so left. The, okay, so, but down. you didn't go back up the stairs. I did not. Okay, so you are, but going, I still went right. you are going down the dark passage. Okay. He's going to the left. Yep. <laughs> Depends which way you're facing. Just a moment. All right. Uh, I think that's called beating a dead horse. <laughs> uh, so you 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 go you follow the passage of a ways and it comes to a um, a ladder that you can descend oh. if you choose. Do it. Oh. So we're we're carrying like we're all there, mm -hmm. and we see the ladder. Are we going down? Or are we going into the bone room? Is this area still lit up? Um, you know what? Not not the way the upstairs was. That's a great question. So I'm yeah, sure. one of you will have to light the torch. I'll I'll, I'll take my it. torch and I'll light it and I'll throw it down the hole where the ladder's going. Um, it goes down about 15 uh, feet, and you notice that oh, you recoil as you're looking down at the ladder because the rungs are clearly iron. Like there's iron oh. like driven into the side of the of the hall. So is the ladder um, itself or is it like the iron is holding the ladder to the wall? It is like, le it is iron rungs. What does what iron do, do to Here, you? Here, I got gloves. <laughs> <laughs> is your a glove Oh, you're a glove maker. What's wrong? Oh, the, oh, the, most, the most sincere moment that you've ever seen in, in the two hours that we've been playing. <laughs> we've been playing to it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you they can... fit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got four different pairs. I'm sure I can find a pair that'll fit. So you're afraid of this ladder? It's just cold. I don't do well with iron. So all that other bra bravado is fake? Iron <laughs> burns me. Like I'm allergic to it. Okay. You could have told us about your weak bloodline before you joined us. <laughs> I I puff my chest and start descending the ladder. You have a sword, a mithril sword, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, so nice. you you climb down, and um, when you get to the bottom, there is another loud kachunk, like you had heard upstairs. And this room actually does seem to be worked again, and light emanates from some unknown source, and you can see um, the sound is continuing to the east, lighting up another uh, hallway leading away mm. out of this room. Can somebody help me, please? Yeah, I'll, I'm I gonna have a, this, I'm gonna have the, the somebody chain? put her on my back and we'll chain her. 
Yeah, I'll help you do that. Thank God. Okay. You can just, um, just, just have her like lay her down facing the ladder, and then you're underneath, and you hold the rungs, so her legs are kind of straddling your arms, and just kind of shimmy down. Will this work, though? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, at, at this, can I cast um, Second Sight? Yes, you can. Oh, give me a feather fall. Or attempt to cast Second Sight. Can't. Does Allie have feather fall? Yeah. <laughs> Which I do. <laughs> Oh, Roll. yay, a one. Okay, so not only does that not happen, but your god really disapproves yeah. of you. Oh, no. Yeah. Why? Why oh, shame. would you do this? Shame. 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 Yeah, shame. 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 You are going to make a roll. Shame. Shame. <laughs> shame. Oh, shame. Disapproval table. As soon as we can find <laughs> it. You're going to roll to see if you're of any um, use to us anymore at all. You know, guys, your god and, turns you into a flower. <laughs> As you start uh, coming down the ladder, I'm actually going to, in in the act of kindness, I feel like it needs to be okay. repaid. I'll kind of be ready at the bottom to assist. <laughs> to catch the roll is a d4 for every point on the spell check. So if you rolled a one, you're gonna roll a one d4. One d4. Yep. And I'll tell you what happens. One. Thanks, guys. Two. Okay. You're not. You don't have a negative luck, do you? Okay, because that would make it worse. Oh, okay. That negative luck. All right, good. two. The cleric must pray for forgiveness immediately. They must spend at least one hour in prayer beginning as soon as they are able. But if you're in combat, you can wait, but you're not. Failure to finish the full hour of prayers within the next 120 minutes is looked upon unfavorably, and you will incur a negative penalty to all spell checks until you complete the full hour. Dude. So you feel the sudden compulsion that, oh my gosh, You've got to pray for forgiveness. You've got to get uh, your God back on your side, but you have to decide whether you start that right away okay. or you're willing to risk the wrath. Oh God. I, you have to like, she has to stop everything she's doing, right? You or can't, like, she's walk and pray. No, no, yeah, no, she's on her knees. Yeah. Like okay. Burning yeah. candles, yeah. incense, yeah. sage. Rug. All right. <laughs> Rug. So but has... to be clear, you can push on, <laughs> okay. but you will. You, 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 Fire bag so heavy. Okay, well, she gets this <laughs> overwhelming like sense, eight, so she's going to immediately drop to her knees and start praying. But as she's doing the so. The cat starts just pawing yeah, her head. Yeah, the cat is pawing, and then Johanna's eyes kind of roll. Mm -hmm. And I see them, and I'm like, no, there are more, there are more important things. And I'm gonna pick up her eyes, and I'm gonna continue on. Did she just start praying? She did, um, but she knows private eyes. <laughs> they're watching you. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's not forget to throw in some eye songs. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. My bad. Yeah. Um, Somebody's eyes are watching. <laughs> in your eyes. In your All right, eyes. thank you. All right, so uh, you've got this hallway that's lit up and goes down to a door. And I will say, the this door, it's a wooden door. It's got about an inch and a half margin, uh, you know, like or gap at the bottom. Eyes can roll under. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, can my eyes roll out of her hand and start rolling around looking for that other eye? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, like, so you're like just checking the corners and the edges and Yeah, stuff? like, yeah, under walls and stuff, looking for the uh, the other eyes from all these other people. Yeah, you know, at this moment, um, I mean, you can pretty much see this hallway is very smooth, very well worked. There's nothing, I mean, it's pretty evident what's in this hallway. Um, the only thing you can't see is what's under the, the door. Yeah, but they would roll under. Okay. Um, go, go away, Bull. Show us the meaning of haste. Johanna uh, eyes, what do you see? They went under the door. And she's yelling yeah. at them. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't, I, so for, for other rooms, I actually have handouts to give you. Um, for this one, I don't. But I will say there is no danger in this room that you see. But I can't tell you what else you see, because then everyone else will. Can I get um, my mirror under so the door? Uh, yeah, but you wouldn't be able to see. Oh, so like okay. telepathically, I would tell the cat to like the admittance yep. to cut, like try to get you to come through the door. Okay, it's gonna freak her out every time because she's like, oh. it licks you with its really rough cat tongue. 
perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so it's sort of like it's sort of licky yeah. blue. Yeah. But, it, but it's also like a bird tongue that has like the barb on it. I think she wants us to continue in the door. I open the door. All right. Uh, cabinets with glass doors crowd around a small work table covered in tubing and glassware. Every cabinet is filled, overflowing with beakers and jars containing strange reagents. Air Ooh. blows gently from a round hole covered by a grate near the ceiling. Um, give me, give me an intelligence check. Oh, great. Um, mm. Six. Why can't we roll okay. two digits? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> So you don't really see anything, um, but are you guys going to look around the room? Yeah. Oh, 100%. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there are... Um, every The cabinets have hundreds of bottles, alphabetically sorted, meticulously labeled. Um, I mean, just a ton of different kinds of reagents for spells or for alchemy. Um, which is not anything any of you, I mean, you know magic, but not, you know, but yeah, so there's lots of, lots of things, hundreds of jars. Um, everybody give me an intelligence check. Sir, Just look around, see if you can find a reagent. <laughs> oh, ah, take a luck point, I temporary luck it. point. I was gonna oh. say, look for some clear eyes. <laughs> <laughs> reagent, oh my gosh. Oh my God. I'm ashamed of myself for Thir not getting that one. <laughs> 13. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done rolling. Your basement is cursed. What? What'd you get? That one. Uh, perception? Two. Intelligence. Intel one. 11. Six. Eight. The Thir highest roll 13. is 13. 13. Okay. Will you Jesus. hand me that? What'd you go up? I can't Shield. read. Johanna nice. always read for me. <laughs> you look up. You look up in the corner where there's that grate in the, in the ceiling and you see this pair of eyes. Okay. Oh, Who's <laughs> You are they blinking? <laughs> they are. So the, I know. Well, they have. They there. can't blink because they're all eyelids. So just okay. imagine they're just like really moving around really quick. You, I see you up there. Get down here. Um. Uh, yeah. They, <laughs> they uh, they they start to roll down and then they sort of skittishly roll back up. What are they like? Like to rolling down something. the wall. I look up. They like yeah. They start to roll down the wall and then they roll back what? up the hole. What? Can I, How did you do that? Come here. We must speak with you. <laughs> uh, they roll off. Can I like try to take the grate off? You want to follow them? No. Oh. Um. Yeah. So you want to? Uh, uh, go get. Yeah, so shot. you know you can go up there. Unfortunately, it's too small a hole to get through. Like uh. maybe you could shove a hand up there. Certainly, if Joe. <laughs> I take you on his. I take you on his eyes and I throw them at the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I think oh Johanna oh has a right to decide what happens to her own eyes. She's just flat like a fish against a wall. They went into the hole? They did. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow them. Go, go All get right. eyes. Um, so you go chasing yes. after those eyes. I can't stop I'd this feeling. I'd be so feeling. disappointed if you didn't try to chase them down. Oh, what um, the eyes... This, uh, you know, like, okay, so you chase the eyes to the to the end of the, um, of the passage. Oh God. Did, we, did, did, did we mark our eyes somehow in case we get them lost with a whole bunch of other eyes we can identify which one's first? Did you got a Sharpie? It's like bumper cars. I just, just put an X on. <laughs> <laughs> the eyeballs kill Allie's Ooh. eyeballs and it comes back. We're like, oh, hey, Joanna. We put them back in and it's like a totally different person. I would roll, I mean, they would roll away from them. Okay, so you back the way you came? Yeah. Yeah, so um, oh, no. give me a uh, agility. Oh, that's Oh, no. Good. Really, really sad. It's an eyeball eater. eater. Oh, 17. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it is. Uh, so all of you, you're like staring up, wondering what's gonna happen. These two eyeballs come flying out of the grate and just hitting the edge of it is this nasty looking and rat. It's I, and like, I, would, it, I would command my familiar to come try to get the rat. Yeah, so the familiar flies up. It can't get through the grate. There's the metal grate there, but Mittens is like slapping at this rat that's sort of, and the rat retreats back into the hole. Can I, before it retreats, can I just be like, oh, no, 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 I've got a pitchfork and I'm gonna try to just, Jam it through the, the grate. Perfect. 
All right, make an attack roll. <laughs> 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 the yeah, eyeballs yeah. can come out. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Pierce is one of Allie's <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> no, her, eye, her eyeballs came out. I wouldn't do it if it was. 18. Okay. <laughs> you know, so you. You jam that mm-hmm. pitchfork and you're like running around. You can't see the rat. You, you, you hit something. And you hear a scream somewhere <laughs> echoing, somewhere <laughs> far away, a distant, distant scream. And you pull out your pitchfork, and for a moment, you see this just oozing eyeball <laughs> that disappears. Oh. Like you're looking at it, it's on your it's on your pitchfork, and it just sort of disappears. And you hear that screaming somewhere way off in the distance, and then it's gone. Is it back the way we came? <laughs> Hard to know. That was quite an eyesore. Sort of... oh, oh my god! You take the point of luck. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> I am so easy about this, aren't I? But I just love it. Um, oh. So yeah, that's. Uh... I'm sorry. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe if you'd saved it. Hold on. To it. All right. <laughs> Yep, okay, so everyone, everyone understood what happened, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You killed yes, we made bad puns. It was a ghost. Yes, <laughs> what if that was the eye of the eyeless man upstairs? You think he's dead? I think he is now. You think I killed him? I think so. Oh, just give me a, a, a prayer. What were you doing on the floor upstairs? <laughs> what were you saying? I, I, I don't know. I just felt it. Uh, give, me, give, give, me, give me intelligence checks. All of us? Mm-hmm. Oh. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh. Come on. Do I need to go? Do I have to go? Fifteen. Yeah, you can. Oh. Seven. Intelligence? Yeah. Thirteen. Roll new dice. Five. I have a Seven. dirty one. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you think that maybe that screaming is still kind of going on sporadically. Mm. <laughs> like it hasn't stopped entirely. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're like... You think we have to kill both eyes? Maybe like the a beholder like detached its eyes and they're rolling around spying on us. Why are you metagaming? I don't want any of your metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> Put it off. <laughs> I'm gonna go check up on the dwarf guy upstairs. I'm gonna follow the screams. I have to That's know. That's a long way. I have to know. Somebody take her. Take her. <laughs> I'll take her for a little bit. I'll throw her on my shoulder. Oh man. You gentle with her. I was the I. Was, <laughs> The hell? All right, so you are you are literally gonna go all the way back yeah. to the front room of the cavern. Yes. Let's Hello? just keep going. Like, Who else? Whoa, come no. with us. Let's are just you keep all... going. What, what, what if the guy's awake? He can tell us stuff. Roland, what if you lose your eyes? Then how are we going to save you? Then what if you come with me? Maybe the guy has answers. I'm not going upstairs. I've got to find all this screaming. But, but what if that is the screaming? I mean, like, we got the... the you know it's sc- coming from, like, down, not the way we came back. You can't quite tell where oh. it's coming from. Yeah, like, it's sort of echoing all, you know, it's just yeah. far away. Like, the skull pit's right there, and the skull pit was near that I guy. feel like you're trying to be difficult, because I wanted to leave, like, the a whole there, time. There is, there, I will say there is a hallway leading out of this room at the far end of this hall, of this of this uh, chamber full of these cabinets. Like, the whole time, just because um, I'm nervous. While they're arguing, yeah. I'll open that door and see how, like, where it leads. Oh, like, out of here? The one I just mentioned? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually, you see a, a short staircase that seems to open up into a very large room. I'm gonna let everybody know that. Do the hey, screams... it looks like, there's, looks like there's a room ahead. Do the screams get louder when he open it? When he opens it? Mm. No. Mm. Oh, man. I think I might be right on this. Well... But the screams are not constant. They're not they're constant? Just, they're, nope, they're just, just like... intermittent. Yep. Okay. Does it look like her body is... Her body seems the same. The same, like. But it was in the same condition as that dwarf. Like, can we, like, can we try uh, something like, without everybody getting really upset? But I just want to know. Can I see one of her eyes? Why? I just want to test something. Last time you were going to stick a dagger. I won't stab it. Skull. I promise. <laughs> this is for education. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he flicks it. That's yeah, brilliant. You just flick it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look at her body to see if it twitches or anything. I'm, yeah, yeah I'm actually, body. it does a little bit. She's in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jacob, we knew that already. <laughs> the eye is the way to the soul. Oh, very true, isn't it though? Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Stop touching her! We learned things! Look away you can't help! She's been through it all! Surrounded by death! Poking her eyeballs. <laughs> Oh, that, that if we're experimenting on the eyeballs, uh, bring out the mirror. Have her look at the mirror. Yeah, I'm gonna bring out the mirror. I'm gonna like mm. show the eye into the mirror. I look in the mirror. There you go. Yay! Stuff. <laughs> oh, where's the mirror? I have it. That's oh, what you see. Oh. She sees more of her eyes. Mmm, mm. we're learning things. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> what if I put it like next to like the her? Mirror reflection. The cat comes and paws the mirror out of your hand. Oh, it's mine. And All right, let's, All right, let's keep go. going. All right, initiative. Okay, uh, so you want to go into this next room? Thank sure. You. So, okay, so this next room is actually fairly dramatic because you go down a short flight of stairs and it opens up into a great hall. The high, high ceiling is held in place by two massive opalescent columns. Triangles of green light reflect off of three gems set in a stone skull that watches silently from a dais at the east end of the room, so to your right. Tapestries on the north and the south wall depict enormous eyeballs on a background of crawling worms. Um, and you also notice to the, to, so to your right, there's this giant skull with these gem, eye, uh, gem eyes set in it. At the That's far nice. end of the hallway, there is a set of double doors and across, straight across from you is another sort of passageway mm -hmm. out. And then there are these two enormous columns in the room. What if we take the gems out of that skull and put her eyes in it? What skull? I'm going to shoot it. Oh. What? Why not? What? I'm gonna do it. Short bow shot. The uh, the, the stone skull? Yeah, I want to try and shoot the, one of the gems and. Remember what happened last time we tried to take gems out of an eyeball? Mm, I touched it. I'm not removing it, I'm shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and make it a... Make it a the logic gonna, is there. You're going to add your agility. <laughs> okay. I'm not touching it. It doesn't know where the arrow is. <laughs> from. I'm not, I'm not touching you. Not 20! Oh, All right, yes! yeah. That's a the, two. Uh, your eyes fall out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is an amazing shot. And in fact, it's so amazing, mm. I will say, that you've angled it just right that it hits the side of one of those gems and actually does pop it out and it sort of falls to the ground in front of the skull. Go put it in. <laughs> I'm not removing the gems, I'm causing them to be removed. Yeah. <laughs> now what if we pick Is it up it? Okay. and our eyes have the same thing with her eyes? That's why I want you to do it. No, what if we have her hand do it again? And maybe we'd go and Put back. her eyeball in her hand and then have her hand. No, we it? control her hand and have her hand pick it up. Put right, her, let's try it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna try I, that. Did, I did really want the gem. Yeah. yeah. So using her hand, we're going to have her hand pick it up the gem. What if we put her in the eye socket? That's what I just said. Yeah. Okay. No, her whole. Oh, her eye in the eye it's socket. Not yeah. That's a that good big. plan, too. I don't think you could fit her entire body in uh, the eye I was socket. The sure. gem's you said there. a big skull, so I Yeah, wasn't it's sure big, how. but I'm, I don't think that you could fit her whole body. It's like Temple of Doom. Yeah. All right, so what do we want to do here? I'm taking her hand. Like, you fix me, but I'm dead from So you are, you are, you are lying her body, her immobile body. Um, would you just, Jamie, yes. I just want to see the, how this is going to work in practice. Jamie, you make your hand very, uh, you know, Eli's going to do this. No, you make your, your hand. Your hand is just, oh. so show me exactly how you're going to pick up a gem. So like, Here's the gem. I... Yeah, pick that up. Okay. Yeah, I'll just it. say it's you're possible. It. Yeah, you're not touching it. Yes, so that's okay. Did and you put it? it in my bag? <laughs> okay, here's the eye socket. <laughs> Wait, you put the gem back in the eye socket? No. No. What? What? I'm confused. I'm putting it on her, her eye. Oh, you're putting, it, you're, putting, you're putting the gem on her body? Thank you yeah. for that. Yeah. This is like LARPing now. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, there is no effect of putting the gem on her body. If so, if you do that, but if you manage to do right, that. Not now, put her eyeball in the skull. All right, um, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, and you could do that yourself. You can yeah, roll up yeah. there. Yeah. So you roll up there, and in fact, it's big enough that both of your eyes can fit if you wanted to. Oh, it man. doesn't seem to have any. Well, now we know. Any, is there any other cracks or anything? Maybe both eyes need to be taken out. Fire another arrow. I'm gonna be honest, that seemed like a one in a million shot. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Um, or at least a one in 20. You didn't see any other cracks in the room, except again, like there's the door at the far side, the double door is on <gasps> the way out. Johanna eyes, go inside the skull and try and push the gem out from the back. There's no cracks in the skull either. Oh yeah. Oh, you like roll to the back of the eye socket. That's what you yeah. Mean. yeah. No. 
Oh, yeah, okay. you can't come. I can't get to the other side. No. Not from inside the school no. cavern. Maybe we don't touch the gems. Maybe we put the gems back. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you're keeping the gem that you picked up in yeah, her. I'm keeping it on her, though. Like I'm gonna look on her body. Yeah. Like in her, okay. A pouch. Okay. Put it in my pouch. pouch. That's oh, what I, I wanted. Make it. Make a note. Making the you, gold. You've earned that. Yeah. I gem. I gem. Cursed I gem. Cursed I gem. You have two of them? Or did we just leave the one upstairs? Uh, he, the minute she touched it, oh, I didn't even get it yeah, out. Yeah, I couldn't get it out. And it, the only reason, I mean, it just it was a natural 20. Thank what you. What are you going to do? Thank you. Roll the nat 20. Thank you. Okay, so you've got tapestry covered with eyes and worms, uh, um, elaborate double doors at the end of this. Uh, Mm, this chatter. sort of chamber and another stir. I'm, I, you yeah. know what? I'm really loving those elaborate doors. I'd, I'd like to head over there. All right. As you uh, get to the double doors, suddenly both of the columns rumble, and you realize that they don't reach entirely to the ceiling. They stop just above because they're actually long eye stalks with eyeballs at the top that come slamming down to attack you. Roll for oh initiative. What the hell? Oh, oh my God. mother's. Uh, uh, for initiative? Well, Rolling for initiative. Hey! 19. <laughs> my first ever roll on my Seven. Dice Goblin dice was a natural 19. They, they must seem to be, be good pretty luck. decent. <laughs> what? They're goblin those numbers. Boo. <laughs> I need, These, a, I need a, like, his dice are on dice fire. that I can start throwing at people across the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not any of the dice yeah. that you have that are. Popular. I rolled like, let me a throw gentleman six. All right, hold on a second. I These are get my giant eye stalks. <coughs> there you go. That's my birthday. Party. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Jacob, what do you add? You said you had his music up. Yeah, combat uh, with the eye stalks. <laughs> Eldritch combat. Not rich. What do you got? It. You no trash dice. Sixty. Like oh, trash people. Dice. Yes. All right, and uh, Ronald. Oh, nineteen. Yeah, I rolled good. All right, and uh, Beatrix? Good. Seven. <laughs> you rolled. Okay, good. and uh, Johanna? I rolled well, but I needed to roll. Eleven? Jamie? Nineteen. What? Uh, who's got a higher dex? Uh, Ronald or dex? Jamie? Uh, or agility, I'm sorry, agility. Uh, I got twelve. Agility twelve. What? Oh. All right. Uh, we're going to say Jamie's first in the alphabet. Uh, Curly. Uh, 14. Yeah. All right. Kevin, I 14. hate you for this. Mm. <laughs> What's happening? Just the Jamie's. All of our Pathfinder yeah. characters are going to be named Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Kevin. Well, now I'm all excited about my goblin. Can they all be like spelled differently? Like Kevin with a C, so it's seven. No. All right. So... <laughs> Fortunately, maybe maybe you heard the rumble of these stalks beginning to collapse because uh, Jamie, you go first. All right. Okay. So you had sort of moved. You had seen Curly move to that double doors, and as soon as he sort of got there, they started slashing around. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go up to them and uh, wait for them to slam back down near me, and I'm gonna try to uh, stamp. All right. I mean, they're they're rooted, so you can just walk right oh, up. Oh, okay. To the deal. Oh, it's a sixteen. All right. Uh, one of them is a ten to hit, and then the other one is a seven to hit. How you feel about those? Um, I will go ahead and bump up the uh, the first one to a. I'll, I'll take two luck to give myself a four increase, and I'll make that a fourteen. Okay, so you you feel that rush of, of the halfling luck, but you just can't seem to penetrate through uh, the tough stalk of this. Guys, eyeball. these things are strong. Uh, They're tough. Ronald. They're gross. They're huge, but I can't hit them. Yeah. <laughs> well, he hit it. He just couldn't hack through. Yeah. I'll try to hack through it. Okay. I'm a fourteen. Plus so plus one so fifteen. All right, that hits. Nice. Where's the D8? Oh, you gotta put these dice in order. Like, I. Yeah, you need a three. I can't figure Three points of damage. Okay, that is. Uh, it's not bad. You know, you see some some goo come out of it, but it doesn't seem very hurt. They're pretty easy to hit. Is it just one eyeball? 
There are two. There, there are yeah, two. Yeah, okay. there's an eyeball at the top of each of these giant stalks. Got it, okay. Jacob. I have that many eyes. <laughs> okay, um, Jacob is going to run up to the left eye, mm -hmm. because that whole right is right thing is just really <laughs> in his... Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to attempt to just really jam his spear into the actual Yeah, don't go pupil. don't go for the stalk. Yeah, it's too tough. And sort of lo lounging down, go ahead, or, or sort of bending over the stalk. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Thirteen! That won't nice. do it. Curly. So, Curly is actually carrying the body of Joanna. Yeah. So I am going. Joanna. <laughs> so I am going to try to run to a safe distance, or what I would think to be a safe distance away from the stalks. So you could either. I mean, the choice is yours. You could you could go through the doors, or you could go back the way you came, or you could go. I mean, these things are huge. They have pretty good reach around the entire room. Or you could go out the room the other side. Remember, you came down the stairs. Yeah, I, I just dropped the body. I'm, I'm a dick, but I wouldn't do that. I'm going to go back towards the stairs where we came in, because I know that that's safe. Okay. And put the body there. All right, so you can go running back up the stairs, put the body uh, not, down. Not to the top, but maybe like yeah. the base. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Johanna? Imagine the body rolling down the stairs. I've got to protect her. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my familiar to attack this thing. Wow. Okay. Familiar's gonna die. Okay. It's real bad if it. Peck its eyeball. Really? Peck, 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 peck. It doesn't have a beak. Oh, it can bite it. And scratch yeah, it's it. gonna scratch. Yeah. And there's nothing worse than gonna scratch in your eyeball. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Eleven. So. No. Um, and where are your eyes? Are they in the skull? Um. No, they would have gone back. So they're with you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the giant eyes, one of the giant eye stalks, uh, the one that took some damage, is going to lash out. Who has the lowest luck at the table right now? Nine. Does well, the does the cat bird share my luck? Oh, yeah. Trevor. I got an eight. All right. So this thing comes bashing down yeah. at you. So in Dungeon Crawl Classics, there are crit tables that give you uh, special damage <laughs> you roll a crit, and this thing is gigantic. Now, would it still hit him even though he ran away? He ran dead! Oh, that's a good question. Uh, that is a good question. No, he, uh, who had the second lowest luck? I think I have a nine. Yeah. How much do you have? What? I have 12. You? I saw 10. Oh, no. Number 12. All right, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, so uh, I'm sorry, Ronald. Oh, no, Ronald's going to die. It is coming, lashing down. What? What happened? He ran away. He, went and put my he said he, had in there. he was not in the room. Oh! So let me see if I. Oh, can. no. Good thing no attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, like no. A 60 foot range. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were under it. It's not. Oh. It's an I beam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I took it all back. That's the last one. He brought this at you! <laughs> Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Oh. Um, I mean, in that, it's a crushing blow. The attack oh inflicts an additional D8 damage, wow. and the character's spine is compressed. <laughs> <laughs> the PC oh, permanently no. loses 1D6 inches of height. You are suddenly four inches shorter as this thing pounds down on your head. Like a like a What'd hammer you on a nail. <laughs> Even if you live, you wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh come on! Like four Jim inches Ed. worth of like spinal <laughs> intervertebral like. Gone. Oh my god! And you take thirteen points of damage. So I'm oh. dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. down and out. You drop to the ground. You want to kill me? So go ahead and spin <laughs> that into the. Um, I just want to remind you, people. You want to do it this a way. cleric can get to you to heal you. Yeah. If nobody gets to you, there will be an attempt to roll the body. You would have to roll under your luck. Where are you oh. at? What are you at? Uh, oh, you're, okay. Yeah, he's dead. down. Um, and Beatrix, it happens to be your turn. Mm -hmm. Get me. Was that both eyes or like? That was just one. Oh. Yeah, the other one is looking around, looking Tr where it wants Tricks to attack. Jokes on you guys. <laughs> I was eight feet, eight feet tall. Did you poop <laughs> out your spine? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you don't get to him. That's no, how I like, imagine it. It's like the opposite of Predator. Instead of ripping the spine out, <laughs> it just crushes it. Right what's the, the uh, like? What's the like? Plato's like the Plato things where like you oh can gosh, squeeze you it see. down. <laughs> yeah, it's like you spaghetti. Just, you just extrude like the spaghettify. All your all your oils have seeped out. <laughs> okay, as she sees Ronald on the floor, she has to make her decision, your human and oil. she's gonna choose Johanna. So what? Wow, Johanna's Johanna, here. Johanna, Johanna, Johanna's not I here. love you, Johanna. Oh. What is she doing? I'm, I'm very confused. The... <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what, did you, what did you roll? A two. A two. All right, so the arrow goes uh, flying out the way off. Holy and as God. I re- and you know what. Oh boy. You actually Ow! Die. You take a point of damage, like you like suddenly you have a piercing migraine. Oh and you realize that <laughs> not only as a disciple of your god have you not prayed. You just pissed your cat off even more. You haven't you haven't prayed and you haven't helped and helped a fallen comrade. So I stand by that's my That's alright, you gotta do what you can. The other eye stock is going to <laughs> only have. been helped. Maybe we should run. Uh huh. Yeah, Dark Souls and, rules. Do we have uh, to like? Do we have to fight? Yeah. Of course not. Beatrix, the doors are open. In, yeah. come, it's coming at you. Beatrix. Where's the fog? Good call. Where's the fog? Down. We just don't fog gate, so we're okay. Yeah. Uh, probably an eight. No. Eleven. Nope. All right. Played Dark Souls and Jamie, Dark. we're back around. Okay. Know where the fog gate is okay. Um. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to uh, run through those doors that are now open yeah, because wait. if they're like sticking up out wait. of the ground, I don't think they can. Like tremor their way towards us. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm tremor. going to describe what you see before you run through. The, the heavy doors squeal open. I just want to describe what you okay, see okay. before you, so you have a moment. Sure. Uh, the do- heavy double doors puppets. squeal open on halting hinges to reveal an arched hallway. Five foot square red and black flagstones create a checkerboard pattern on the floor. Another set of stout doors stand closed at the far side of the passage. That's the trap. Uh, never, mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, guys. I don't think we just want to run in here. Can, can it be like you run in and like do the back? Of the no, no, no. So you push the door open. You're like, whoa! Right. You yeah. don't. You don't step in. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> nope. 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 Um, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stab the eye stalk that's already been uh, hurt. Hurt okay. a little bit. Just yep. right. Just straight. Straight in the iris. All right. Straight. Nope, nope. What straight color eyes there. does it have? Oh, that's a great question. It's sort of a topaz. No. <laughs> that's very important. They're beautiful. Yeah. They really Not are beautiful. Not bloodshot at all. Here we go. That's my son. Not They're bloodshot. the size of dinner plates, but really. Crystal. See yourself in the big no. What was nope. that one? Oh, uh, one yeah. Was a seven and one was a five, which I get subtracted. Um, Ronald? Yep. How, how Better far below that. your... Uh, so I was dealt 13? Okay. Yep, and you lost... Um, what was your life? Oh, four. So I'm at what? Negative <laughs> nine? Okay. Did you not roll hit points? I did. I have a D6. Uh, Jacob. Yeah, you're really good. So okay, you're just lying there, you're lying there bleeding. Six. My character was like, roll better. Right there, about to run through the doors. And then he sees you stop, and then yep. he sees you attack the one, and then he just goes, nope, nope. Like, nope, he nope. sees that they're crushing down and killing people, and he's like, whoa, they can't hurt me if I'm inside! And he tries to jump. Into the <laughs> eyeball, so that he'd be at the inside of the eyeball. Into what? So the eyeball is like a mucus. Yeah, like, isn't isn't the eye like what really a, hot? What a vitreous move! It's like slamming down. Like, like Are you yeah. priming the eyeball? Stock? No, no. Like I'm waiting for it to come down, and I want to go through. Oh, when it's the actual in, pupil into the vitreous in, fluid, into the viscous fluid on the okay, inside. Okay, so that's gonna be your deed. Yeah, your deed is gonna be and somehow <laughs> break through the membrane and end up in the. <laughs> Membrane can't be yes. that strong. I like it. There's a lot of biology <laughs> happening here. It's too much for me. It's like when you just touch your eye. Kevin, walk us through it. If you get through the, if you get through that outer membrane, it's a it's straight the vitreous, inside. The vitreous fluid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's Kevin, see what. It's kind of like jelly. Medical personnel, please walk us through this. Come on! Because this is all very realistic. Oh, oh which no, 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 no! Does no, not no, work. No, no. Uh, listen, I dissected an eye in high school. I'm with with my run. Oh yeah. With okay. my run, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. Away. Which way? I'm gonna run to that. Uh, uh, to, to, to the there? door we haven't gone through. Okay, so you, I'll say you can get there this turn. So yeah, you rush, you race like, to that other. After I like hit it and compress myself and <laughs> yes, <laughs> just kind of crawl and my see, way through. You the see that? <laughs> you, see stairs, you see stairs going up. Curly, you are now standing at the door of the room, mm. watching this chaos oh, in front no. of you. 
eyes flashing <laughs> around. You see Ronald's bleeding, compressed body on the ground. <laughs> you see uh, Jamie standing, staring blankly at a checkered floor. Oh, what do you do? I'm gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. Time for a hero, Curly. Um, a what, hero. What, what, I need We're a holding hero. out for a hero. That's I right. Need a hero. <laughs> Take a while. Uh, <laughs> What, yeah. What do we have in terms of like a medicine check to like stabilize? Is that a thing? Not um, really. I don't think so. No. Not nope. for somebody who looks like a fly in a fly swap. <laughs> we dead. <laughs> I'll need it. Well, knowing that. Autopsy. Um, whichever we'll eyeball gender. looks more <laughs> damage, I want to try to run and jab right into the stalk. Okay, and I, I think I just wanted to point out uh, because you did raise an interesting point. Both eyes still look pretty darn healthy. There is one that's slightly more damaged, and you choose to attack that. Yeah, I want. Yeah, because I want to see. Yeah, if if I hit and it doesn't do that much. You haven't really been in here to see everybody fail. Right, right. I hit it. Okay. Hey! All right, sixteen. That hits. Sixteen, sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> If only we had bows and arrows and just stood all the way back. Three. <laughs> just, all right. I do. I'm just rolling awful. Uh, so the, yeah, if you do some damage to it, not a whole lot. Okay, so knowing that, uh -huh. and knowing how strong Mithril is, I'm gonna shout to the group that we need to, we need to get out of here. Why do you have and, a Mithril? Because I'm an elf. Mm, damn elves it. Elves have it. I don't hear. I'm you. elf. It's like a so as you look thing. over, you see Jacob like pressed like this against the, the door. <laughs> like, I know. So it's just an open it's just an open passageway. You can run in there as soon as you, you just could. Then he's there. against the door. Yeah. Frame. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's it's the wall. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout to the group. We don't stand a chance. And now I want to make it as far back to Johanna as I can. I know it's a lot of movement. Oh, you want to go get her? I'm gonna go back. Okay. And get so you her. just sort of disappear back up the stairs. Uh, Johanna, your eyes or your uh, or mittens? Um, yeah, mittens will go towards Jacob after we realizing that the, we weren't gonna do very well here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he gets to him, I'd like scoop him up. It's okay. So I think we've it's got flying. we've got oh. two targets here. Eyes on your shoulder. Am I one of them? Or, no, your body's just Yay. flying there. All right, so uh, Beatrix, one of these eye stalks comes smashing down. Uh, a nine? Eleven. Woo! Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I run over to Ronald. Yes. And we have to go! And again, not really understanding yeah. the powers, but we're hoping that the touch is gonna. Yep, the healing yeah. power comes washing it's over. Just into a corp. Wah! Why aren't you moving? Four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so technically your disapproval is at a two cool. right now because it, it goes up because now you failed again. So cool. it goes up um, and nothing happens. Cool. I quit. And the second one <laughs> attacks, and it comes lashing down at you also. Your character, Jamie. This your character. <laughs> uh, and that's 14. Yeah. Okay. What are you that's doing? That's a points? compressive so, spot. <laughs> you take fun. eight points of damage. I'm still on! Actually, here's what happens. Oh, you take seven. Okay. One of your eyeballs uh -oh. explodes, oh, no. and suddenly you... Your body, it's blinking in your body, and you're screaming in the agony. Uh, so you have like, you take a hit point of damage on yourself, but yeah, one of those eyes is just like bleeding in its socket in your body now. Can you, can she see, can you see? She can is, see? Um, she's still like, she's sort of like half conscious. But like, you all saw what happened. But her eyeball is gone in her socket? No, it's so like one the of the two floating eyeballs got pounded oh. and reappeared bleeding and damaged in her head. You would see it. Oh. Yeah, so, so you see that suddenly one of her eyes is back. It's damaged and she's kind of thrashing around yelling in agony, half oh. conscious, but Stab the other eyeball. she's back. And uh, Jamie, it is your turn. All right, I'm dead. 
guy. And you, did you, no, you were at the standing at the doorway. I was, yeah, I was at the doorway okay. and turned around to attack. Um, I'm going to run to the hallway now. Where everyone's yep. gathering to get yep. in. Yep. yep. All right. Um, okay, he's lying there dead. Jacob. <laughs> Does he hear anything? me? I'm sorry. I'm no, he's no, across the room up the stairs. So you're like on opposite ends of this. But he's hall. got he's got her. He I'm does. getting drawn. And I see that. Yeah, you probably did see her go up there. I just yelled to you. Curly, I think we got to go this way. <laughs> and I look into the room that I'm standing near. Okay. Uh, you know, it's stairways. You see stairs going up. Um, I won't tell you what you see until you're you going to go up yeah, the stairs. Yeah, I'll go up the stairs. All right. Uh, there are statues of creatures in fighting poses lining the walls. Elves, dwarves, strange reptile humanoids. In the northeast corner, a giant snake-haired creature with a large bowl between its cloven hooves. Bleached skulls are mounted on the wooden plaques high in the wall. Neither the statues... The statues don't have any eyes, and the skulls have no sockets. That doesn't seem safe. Um, I'm going to look around for any Everywhere. eyeballs on the ground. All right. Oh, oh. No. Nice. You don't seem to see any. Okay, I'm gonna enter into the room for as far as I can move. Okay. Um, and then do it just a net, like a normal, just look around. Is there another door in here? Yeah, there's or? another door in the far corner. Okay. Um, don't touch anything. And I'm like, stay in the middle, like trying to like. Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty <laughs> grim, right? There's statues of action poses, that, that skulls, works. curly. Uh, as Joanna's kind of writhing on the ground in pain. Um, I'm gonna, I wanna, when I get to her, I wanna kinda shake her. Joanna? What? Joanna! Yeah, she's unresponsive. She's unresponsive. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to, unresponsive like she's still limp, or if I put no, her No, no, now she's kind of like thrashing around. She can't seem to control her limp. It's like she's in agony. Like, okay. So like half conscious extreme pain. Okay, so I'm gonna put one arm over my shoulder and start walking with her instead of just a straight carry. So yeah, hopefully she's she can sort of stumbling a, bit. a bit. Yeah. Um, and I want to take her into the other room. Yeah, I'm going to say that you can get across and up the stairs. Perfect. Um, Johanna, really, you can't do anything. Like, even, you can't even control mittens right now because it's like your consciousness is ripped in two. Like, you're, like you're seeing two things at once. You feel this searing pain in your head. Um, it, yeah, it's unlike anything you can ever imagine having happened. Who's still in this room? Is anyone? Well, you are. Um, it's Okay, one of them's gonna try and attack you. You're, you're sort of kneeling over his body, which is what a hero should do. Uh, that is an 11. 11. Okay. Oh, damn. That ties went to the player. Never. Not for Never. Never. <laughs> Never. All right, uh, five Never. points. And down. Did one of those points hit my other eyeball? Yeah. Okay, so you take four. I mean, I had three. And yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're, you're dropped. And then, um, yeah, you are down two hit points. But you are now, your eyes are sort of bleeding in their sockets. But you are you again. Can I see? Uh, yeah. Yep. Sounds really gross. I scream in his ear. Yeah. Just like wake up. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Beatrix, you are lying there now. And then uh, um, so there's no sort of live target here. So we're gonna go out of rounds. I think we're gonna take an intermission. Okay. But when we come back, a couple things are gonna happen. Mm -hmm. The party is either gonna come up with very clever ways to save their two fallen comrades, or we are gonna make a roll the body check which means you have to roll under your luck, and if you manage to do that, you survive. Oh! I believe in miracles! That's right, so tune in. We're gonna take 15 minutes. We'll be right in 15 awesome. minutes. Yes, right? but before right we back. do, I just wanna send another thank you to our sponsor. Oh dice yeah, Goblin. show those dice. So we're gonna show hot. a quick little yeah. video, and then we'll be back in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, see you soon, stickers. everybody. Dice Goblin. Mm -hmm. Stickers. Stickers, too. I like the stickers.
Welcome back, everyone. Uh, if you were watching before the break, you know that we stopped at an incredibly suspenseful moment. Our heroes had managed to escape the giant eye stalk creatures that were bashing you, but unfortunately, not all of you escaped because, alas, poor Ronald and Beatrix, in her effort to save Ronald, were both smashed to bloody pulps. Now, <laughs> The thing about Dungeon Crawl Classics is unlike in, say, uh, 5e, where you have death saves and you have these, or you could take massive damage, if you hit zero and there's no one around to help you, you are pretty much dead. <laughs> Except Ooh. you have one chance, and it's called rolling the body, where someone will have, and we'll just, we're gonna. Uh oh. Uh oh. What he said. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, so yes, as I just said twice, we're going to imagine that one of your fastest compatriots had gone and knelt to, to the side to see, to roll your body over, to see if there's any sign of life left in you. Ronald and Beatrix, you see a light. There's a light beckoning you, beckoning you. Will you go to it? We don't know. <laughs> you need to roll a d20 and you need to roll under your current luck score. So let's do it one at a time. Ronald, how much luck do you have? Nine. So you're gonna roll a d20 and roll under, good. under a nine. I got this. Net one. Whoa! Let's go! All right, yes, you, you gasp and you crawl your way out of the room. You are not going to the light now. Suckers, find back inside. Beatrix? <laughs> so I have been rolling horribly and Oh, under yeah, times yeah, all yeah, night, yeah, and I'm going to roll yeah, well right now. Watch. You just never watch. know. Just watch. Yeah, come on. Your god is mad. What's your hang on? What's your luck? Twelve. So roll under a twelve. She gonna oh. get a thirteen. That's a twelve. But I have a luck score. Can I use it to negative? Yes. Well, you can't. But you know what? <laughs> beats it. Beats it. You're okay. Hey! Yeah. yeah. So you uh. We're gonna say that yes, you also, uh, and now, the prayers that you had put off, you are feverishly reciting as you crawl out Ooh. of this room. Yes. Um, and no matter, like, you are gonna spend an hour praying in this room. Okay. So the rest of you can decide what you wanna do. You can look around a little bit more. Um, I told you before. Are they just flailing in the back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, after after a few minutes, yeah, then after a few minutes, the, those stalks <coughs> go back to being towers. Um, and <coughs> I will say, so you both have one hit point. You both Sweet. take a permanent point of, um, you're gonna roll a D3, it's gonna be stamina, strength, or agility. You're gonna take a permanent point of damage. Do we get to choose? No, it's random. Oh. Okay, I see. Three. Stamina. So if that's your third score down, no. that's now a point lower. Oh wait. What it what is what, what makes it go everything. down? Dead. What is it now, Eli? Oh a thirteen. From a fourteen. So it's 13 12 plus still one. plus one. Yeah. One. Oh, die. Oh. oh so ten. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Not so the, not the as worst. as you are sitting there, uh, praying, thanking your God for helping it's you. Music. Keep um, it's really yeah. lucky, gang. The door on the other side of this room bursts open. I'm yeah. upstairs. No, I mean in the room where you are. Oh, there, in everybody, my room. everybody's in that room. Oh, everyone is in that room. Yes, and the door on the far side of this trophy room bursts open, oh. and these strange little creatures. You think they're halflings. They're like your size, but they have uh, like deep. They have like cloaks with cowls pulled very low, and yet you can just see at the bottom of that cowl. You would expect to see a mouth, that's normal. But it also seems like their nose and their eyes are all jammed at the bottom of their at the bottom of their face. So you're seeing like their whole face jammed at the bottom of this cloak. Um, three come in bearing daggers and they shout something you don't understand and charge. Roll for initiative. No! Jesus. Yes, you have two very wounded comrades, so you might want to decide how you handle that. 16. Hang on, I speak, I speak. Common? Oh no. Elvish. And halfling. 
Okay. You don't know if they're halflings, though, man. Yeah, you Do they speak like to me in halfling? You are not understanding anything they say. Mm. Don't worry, I got this. I speak thieves can't. Uh, or Jamie. understand it. What? Well, 15. No. <laughs> 15. <laughs> they speak only thieves can't. Ron <laughs> Ronald. Ronald. Oh, 16. <laughs> the grandma has the cupcake. Jacob. Jacob. Oh, two. Two. A gentleman's two. A gentleman's two. Curly. 15. All right. Uh, Johanna. Also two. Oh. What's your dex? Copycat. Oh, nine. Jacob? Probably higher than Eight. Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, uh, uh, okay, is that it, Ronald? Nope, me. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, where is Beatrice? Where These are some of the lowest oh, yeah, I've ever rolled 14. for any character. <laughs> What makes it fun. It is, is what makes it fun. Is your 12 health your only like your best? Oh thing? god, I have a plus. I'm a negative two character. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm negative yeah, one. I'm a plus My feet is a negative five. <laughs> so was my scale. Ronald, you are actually first. You don't have to attack. Can, is there somewhere I can just like go and hide? I mean you could you could crowd into the corner away from them. There's like sure. a pretty big room, there's oh, statues. They so you're like, yeah, you're sort of crawling to the corner. I don't know what I do. Curly. So three charge shows. Yeah, come in from the door that was the other the only other <gasps> one out of this room. Okay. Are there more of them in this room? No. Okay, it's just those. Just three. these three came in, yep. Okay. You have been so, making so, a so ton they, of noise. So they came through the other door. Yeah. You don't know what's behind where they came from. Okay. Because you're in this trophy room. You ran up, there's the statues, the skulls. Do they okay, yeah. Do they is there like a prepare to attack, like in 5e, there's nothing like that. Yeah, no. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, they are definitely moving into attack. Their daggers are out. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna swing. Okay. I'm just, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing at one. 30, 20. Yeah, that'll hit. Dirty, dirty 20. You need to use these dice. All right. No, goblin, this is mine. goblin dice. Get away. Mine. No, I'm just saying, your goblin dice are great. Four. Four points of damage? Four, four. Four, four points of damage. All right. Your. Tell me how it goes. I just. Because they're so short and tiny, I just cut the head right off. Just Yeah, one swing. and here's what happens you cut the head off, and that sh knocks the hood back. And you see the head is completely bald and covered with eyeballs. Oh. And as the head hits the ground, the eyeballs scatter out of the head and go racing down the hall that they had come from. With some nightmare fuel. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of nightmare fuel in this game. Jamie. Um. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in to attack as well. All right, there are two more. Yeah. Find, find a way the to deep thought though with cruel yeah. 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 <laughs> find, find a way to squish his head <clears throat> oh yeah <laughs> I've got nothing I'm clashing your head I've got no squishables <laughs> I just have my owls and a 10 foot pole I believe in you I believe in you uh, that is a 11 to hit uh, that hits oh my god cock Kevin, is that a D20? That's not a D20, man. No, it's a 16. D16. Oh, you use a D16? Because yeah, I do a two, two, two women. Oh, man. But a 16 oh. is a <laughs> <laughs> That one was one. That oh, one. but you have to roll two ones as a halfling. It's not a fumble. Oh, okay. All right, so you get one oh, hit. Wow. 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 I don't even know what to roll. Uh, D4. Wow. D4, that's a five. Wow. There it is. Oh, wow. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. It's not a triangle. It's a jackal. That is a three damage. All right, so it's bleeding heavily. You see blood gushing, but it is still alive. Uh, Beatrix. Um, I'm going to try and heal myself. Yeah. You're going to take a minus one because you have not prayed. You haven't done your full hour, but go ahead. Okay. You should for two tattoos. hours. 19. Oh, Ooh. yeah, so you're healing yourself, so yeah. you're the same. Yep. So that's gonna probably be 3D, three hit die, I think. 
And do I get to use my? Yeah, hit your hit awesome. die. Yep. So, 3d8. Whoa, 3d8. Yeah. yeah. And you feel the approval of your god, sort of like, oh. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Watch. I'm... No, no. Three Come three on. Three Think one. positive. Come on, Rage. Be the positive wolf. Six, seven, eight, Keep nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I've met at full health. Oh, Yay! my gosh. All right. Yay! Hell yeah, Yay! brother. I can sit by you. Is there a limit of how many times you can lay on hands? Mm-mm. No. So your god. Really? You, I mean, you, your disapproval yeah, you can, can keep, keep going up and up. Yeah. Um, all right, so you would actually kill one of its comrades. So okay. it come one of the this one that's sort of actually already bleeding and mm. lashes out at you. And I don't think that'll hit. <laughs> and uh, Johanna. I'm sorry. Yeah, Johanna. Um. Am I, like, am I okay? <laughs> Good point, because she didn't get to heal you, did she? No, but I didn't end. I've taken a few Yeah, you've got both of your eyes. I mean, yes, you are okay. You, I mean, she hasn't healed you, so you're not fully healthy. But yes, both of your eyes are now in their sockets, and you can think, so yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna take my cleaver and try to chop at one, and then I'm gonna tell Mittens to claw out the eyes on the head of the other one. Okay. So I'm gonna attack the one that's got full health. A lot of respect for a wizard who goes into the cleaver. Yeah, I don't have any spells other than that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so comprehend you know. languages, you never know. Okay. Um. To hit, I just add my strength, like nothing, yep. right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna miss. Okay. Um, Such a wizard thing. And do. mittens. And mittens is going to attack. Mm-hmm. And he has an eleven. That hits. Woo! And mittens does a think a, a D6. six. Yep, attacking the healthy one, right? Yeah, and does a whole one one damage. All right. Unfortunately, that is not enough to uh, finish it off. It was just bleeding, but not too badly. Jacob, there are two hurt creatures in this room with you. Get him. Seeing everything that goes on, he goes, I don't trust your lion eyes. Ah. <laughs> I will try to attempt to spear both of them. Okay, so your mighty deed is just, to try and do damage to both. spear both of okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Shish kebab. Yes, exactly. Shish kebab. No. Shish kebab. Do you get a, you, do you get a mighty kebab. deed every turn, or is it just like every initiative? Every time he rolls. Wow. Yeah. I can try to do, oh. try to do I'm something. Try to be like. You try to do something. Let's cool. do it. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. The that deed good. does not go off. That one. And it's a mumble. <laughs> All right. So you have your own table. What kind of oh, you're wearing? What kind of armor? I don't know. Oh, what did we say though? You gave yourself a bonus. Not, Ar- not naked. Until you you said until what, I what bonus did we give you? No, nothing. I don't know. Attacked, yeah. Oh, well we say at least. Yeah, I thought we heard le- I heard leather. Well, and I said leather. I, you would be a twelve. You said, yeah, you also, you said it's gonna be a surprise. You'll find out when it happens. You can get a hide for thirteen. Chain is fourteen. I've been waiting all game. Let's say chain. It's fourteen. Chain. chain but I. I but chain wait. Actually, before I tell you 15? this. Yeah. With the high. high, the higher your armor class, the higher the dice roll is on the fumble chart. It's okay. All so right. You so if you're doing nothing. chain. Uh, you're gonna roll a d12. Okay. Hide gives you 13. Hold on, I was, I, I may have been 14. wrong. I rolled a what, I'm sorry? You roll a d12, and I will tell you what happens when you make this catastrophic error in the mm. midst of combat. Mm. Five. You don't have a luck bonus, do you, or, or negative? No, you do not. Okay, so straight five. You trip and fall, wasting this action. You are prone and must use an action to stand next round. So not too bad. You lash out with that spear, and you're so eager to try and get both of them, your momentum tosses you to the you ground. Slipped on ah. um, and the one the in front oh, yeah. tries to attack you after you try to attack. It totally misses, which brings us to Ronald. Alrighty, how many of them are left? There are two, and I know you're sort of crouching hidden in the corner. Yeah, can I, can I try to sneak up like you're one of one? One of oh, one. yes, you can. You're a thief, right? Yeah. Now you have a special sneak attack bonus, right? If you yes. look at. 
I have it all. Yeah, for easy. first class, uh, for first class, first level, you'll have a, a particular bonus for sneak attack. He's like a sneak As in backstab. Roll. Yeah, backstab. Uh, plus three. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead. Please work. Nine. So exactly eleven. So tw- well, nope, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. So you hit. Nice. All right. Hold up. Backstab. Not that guy. Three plus, I think, backstab gives me something. It does. I just don't remember. Is it additional to In addition, if, it, if he hits, the thief automatically achieves a critical hit. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? It's okay. It's not going to matter because you actually... I have a nine. You hit this one in the kidney, and it just drops. Mm. Got it. Do you break its spine? Oh, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like slicing like where its spine would be and like slicing up. Yeah, and it feels odd to you because you're at a different height I'm angle sure. than you used to be, but yeah, you do it. I'm slightly above its level. Curly. Mm. And again, as it drops dead, all these eyes come pouring off of its head and vanish down the hall like that. This, rolling down the hall. This hallway. last one is not going to get that lucky. Put away my sword, but I take out a shovel. Hey! Oh, Kill the person with that. Yeah. 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 Full circle. An eye for an eye. And I'm gonna uh, uh, smack uh. the shit out of it. Okay. Okay. Right in the head. <laughs> I hope I don't hit no. somebody else. Big bonk. Woo! 19. 19. Okay, yeah, you hit. Big bonk. Wait, are you playing a warrior? No. No. Oh. Pete? Um, no. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, thanks. The strongest class. Like you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then one. <laughs> One point of damage. So unfortunately, it is still alive. Oh, come it, on! It you hurt. healed it. You healed it. I healed it. <laughs> kind of just like a bonk. You healed it. Healed it. <laughs> healed one with blood. Okay. Uh, can, can you at least Jamie, give me like a squish dive? I will. Uh, yeah, maybe one. You hear like, 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 like when you push one of those plastic bubbles. Oh. Yeah. Like, you hear like a plastic oh. bubble wrap. Oh, we're um, good. So staying, away, staying away from its head. Um. I'm, I'm going to try and like stab it in the heart. Kiss okay. It. Kiss it. Shot to the heart. Kiss You're just lame. Nope. You give nope. All right. Uh, okay. Beatrix. Don't yes. Um, no, she learned from her mistake, so she is going to. Pray? <laughs> or I will say you can look around and you yes. see Ron. That's what I was going to. Yeah. So I see him. <laughs> Excuse me. And I tried saving him earlier, so I'm gonna kind of run to him and be like, I don't know what I'm praying to you. I don't quite understand what abilities I have, but here, <laughs> I protect you. And I'm gonna try and land hands for you. All right. Let me protect you. Yeah, I protect. I pr- Oh Bro. man, this cleric can use lay on hands. It's very confusing. I five for my three. You got a three. I brought a three. I think yeah. you used it last. Okay, hey, so that. Uh, will be a, so that adds to your dis- you, so you don't <laughs> make won. disapproval, but now your disapproval range is three. You just like oh. oh, that's not good. That what does that mean? It means so like if you roll, roll a three, three or, or under, one. you will have to roll on that chart. It means like oh, okay. now, like your nat one goes up to like. That's not okay, so this uh, is brutal. Um, there's just the one that's sort of bleeding. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Sh- I'm going back for the eyes on its head. And I'm going to say, give those people back their eyes. Because yeah. in my mind, those are a bunch of people who mm-hmm. don't have their eyeballs. Yeah. Ooh, where all those eyeballs belong? On that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You are all on fire. I don't get it. Now, you don't have any armor, though, right? Get it out now. No, I don't have any armor. <laughs> all right, so you are going to roll a, a d4. Oh, I am not red. I am. I yep. my elbow. You haven't been hit. No. One. No, I'm One. Tank. Your incompetent I'm blow <laughs> makes you the laughing stock of the party. Otherwise, causes no damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Sorry. Uh, Jacob. Oh, wait, no, no. My familiar will attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were yeah. not the wrong. Um, nine plus four. Nine plus four? Yeah, hits. I tried to protect <laughs> I'd like to do something. Two damage. And it might be too much. That's okay. Two damage. How does it go? He claws it's all the eyes out. Yeah, so several of them burst in pus and okay. goo. Oh. Um, a couple managed to get away. You know, he's trying to slap at them. But yeah, a lot of them are oozing and pussing. And suddenly the room is quiet. Oh, no. 
Do I just hear... saved so many people. Do we hear screaming <laughs> from the other room? Oh, that's a good question. No, you don't. No. It was the dwarf. Um, but, you, but you do hear like this, like, because when I landed, my hen kind of popped out. And I've what? been lying about my hen. <gasps> you didn't eat oh it. Oh my, my gosh, hand. you didn't eat it. I've just been hiding it. And he <laughs> tries to put it back in his lip, in his chain mill that's making him look puffy and What's big that's and name? strong. Huckles or something? Ah, Huckles. 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 Oh. Why? Huckles lives! Why would you guys to think I was tough? <laughs> By so, eating your So chain. whose hen did you eat? Huckles. What was that? I just found an animal out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's why your god's mad at you. All the lies. What is was a real sacrifice. I'm sorry. You guys don't think less of me. You almost gave me your chain. Well, I had it. I had it in my chain mail. I think you are stronger for not eating the thing that you love. Well, I'm gonna chain it back up then. <laughs> Over your shoulder, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, got a you, I, I got you. I got you. Mace. Mittens, no, you Hugs. cannot eat that. This entire time I've just been imagining like Hey Hey from Moana. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent Yeah, but I absolutely don't look nearly as tough. Now that you have it out of here. Yeah. Place. Yeah. Alright, so uh you see the door is open and you see a, a room at the end of this hallway. I love it. That, that they had come in from. I kicked the door open. It's open because they burst in. Yeah. So you go down the hall. Yeah. All right. We reclose it. Very good. Re-close it. This, kick is it open. A, this is a circular room. And there are tall clay jars evenly uh, set along the north section. Hi. Don't. <laughs> there is a um, a metal grate set in a two foot wide round pipe positioned directly in the center of the south wall, flanked by clay jar- jars on each side. I'm gonna go look at that. How, grate. how big is that grate? It's it's two feet in diameter, and when you go to look at it, you see that there is a ladder going down. Okay, can I try to take the grate up? Yep, and it does. It lifts up. Oh, okay. There's a grate here. There's a ladder. You can go first, or you can go first. I'd, I'd like to go to the clay pot. Or just these are big, right? You said they're yeah. what, like five feet. Pretty big, yeah. I'm I'm gonna knock on it to see if it's filled or just. Hollow. It's it, actually it's empty. Although the inside is damp, and there is a kind of smell but they're empty. I'm gonna play my character still as she doesn't really understand this magic that is yeah. coming from within her. So I'm gonna go up. You need to save your strength. Why are you always try. touching me? Cause sometimes magical things happen. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all know that? Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, could, oh. Sometimes they do. 11, I'm gonna expand my Extra yes, you have, a, you have a temporary luck point. And make that a 12. All right, so he will get one, I think. What is your limit? Chaotic. So oh, I get one away. One away? So do I get three? Oh, because you're neutral? Yeah. yeah neutral. But I think if 12 is the lowest, he'll only get one, I think. One hit point or one D8? One D8. Yeah. Or no, what, you're one a thief, right? One yeah. adjacent, yeah, one die. So one D6. Is one that D6. your hit die? Yeah, that's my deal. Yeah. yeah, I'm back at full. Hey. Right. I feel anything you. coming from my pouch with this cursed gem in it? You know, no, you don't feel anything. Um, but tell me if you ever get it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for when you like you accidentally just stick your hand in there for something and you just brush against it and just... your eyes pop back out. Oh, my buckles! I'm gonna chain you up over here. We do know how to fix your oh, no you're eyes. Are chaining it up up here? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna come back up and get you. What just if? Kinda... What if this whole head what if this wall. whole cave collapses? <clears throat> That's a I chance. I would never ever leave. Why would you leave? You'd have That's a chance I have to Did take. You see if the hide armor was what was that was? Uh, the hide was Huckles. thirteen. Thirteen. Because okay. it was one above was? the leather that so I. So you're I leaving Huckles up, up, chained up, and you all climb down the the, the uh, ladder. I better have gloves on. You'll have to have those gloves. Yep. Mm. All right. So. You climb down the ladder, and it's the strangest room you've ever seen, which is saying a lot, because you've seen some strange stuff. Shelves of identical jars circle the entire room and continue spiraling up through a hole in the ceiling. And actually, so it'd be actually going down also. The jars contain small white blobs suspended in liquid. 
Several ladders near the center of the room extend through the hole, secured to a landing high above. Make sure I get this right. I want to know what those things are. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm sorry, though, you just came down that ladder. So you, you come down the ladder, there are these ladders. Um, pulsing crystal shards embedded in the walls radiate pink light and give off heat. On our way down? Like, so you, you climb down this ladder, mm -hmm. and all around you as you're climbing down, there are these jars with like blobs floating in them. Okay. Are those baby eyeballs? As you go and look at one, it is like a little, like sort of fetus thing, and it does have eyes that sort of blink at you. Ooh. Ooh. What are Gross. they growing? Um. <laughs> and one of them has a, the eyes are too low in its head. <laughs> are they look like uh -huh. little miniature things we just killed? They might be like babies of those things. So they're like mm -hmm. on jars. They're in on jars. Shelves. Yeah, on shelves. Yeah. Is, there going any, down. is there any writing? Are they labeled or anything like that? Um. You don't see any any labels on them. Oops. Jacob walks up to one. No, and just grabs it. Yep, that's right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so it puts <laughs> off a, um, there's a powerful smell, like, oh, and there's this, like, blob that sort of, sort of splashes around on the ground yeah, and then smush it, smush it. Oh. it It doesn't last long oh, after ugh. it's out of it. Um, yeah, it's it just, like, like they're, they're yeah. dead. I just take my, my pitchfork, my pitchfork just got to... Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Like, they're so like pushing off the jar. Journal or like notes or anything Not about in any this of room, this. No. no. You do see there are um, there are two doors. So now that you're at the bottom, there are two doors off to your left, and then there are stairs that go down to your right. As a lawful character, this goes against the law of nature, and he just starts knocking them no. off. Wow. So yeah, so you're smashing glass. Echoing through this place, um, just horrible smell fills the room. I think. Oh. You guys want me to stop? No. You can I'm going. sorry. I wasn't trying to be any. Like... That's, no, that's an abomination. Keep going. No, okay. It smells so bad. It's a big room. Out. Soon there's <laughs> like there's shattered glass I'm gonna, everywhere. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, no. I'll stop for now. I think I got like an A. I had to have gotten at least an A. So somewhere. there's two doors next to each other. Um, well, they're about like 50 feet apart. <laughs> When you grow okay, up on a farm, thing. this is yeah. really pretty. I, I go up the <laughs> Okay. Is it Run of the mill. Uh, no, it does not seem to be locked. <laughs> okay, I open it. Uh, you see a hallway, and there's a door straight across from you, and there are doors to your left and right at the end of the hallway. This is a hallway? <laughs> so, so, yeah, so you can go across. There's a door right across from you. Can you go right? There is a door to your right, and then there's a door yes. at the far end of this hallway to your left. Go there's a door to the right, and then if you go to the end of the hallway and turn around, there's another door to the right. Jesus, that, which it, one do we pick? <laughs> <laughs> Holy it's shit. the power of my description. <laughs> the First door the day here. on your right. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm immersed. I, I, aren't you, though? Know? <laughs> hallway doors. First, first door to the right. Go I used to just use pillars. Right is right. <laughs> first door pillars. to the right. All right. <laughs> We're moving on. Set the mood. There used to right. be so many levers. <laughs> Remember lever quest? lever quest? Small hooded robes hang from pegs that circle the entire conference of this door-shaped room. I'm sorry, domed. <laughs> <laughs> Every kind of door. Everything's doors. It's a dome-shaped room. There are pegs <laughs> all really around it. To picture like yeah, I know. Dome. Like Pegs. It's like, this. <laughs> it's like it's like a preschool where the kids go and hang up their coats on the pegs. Yes, and but they are the robes, and they all seem about the same height as these creatures you killed. I'm gonna try one on. Are they in now oh. his size? Oh, how, how, how short are you now? I mean, oh, I have no idea. I didn't choose the you height. Didn't choose a height. Sure so it just depends. Know. It definitely fits you. It's probably still a little short on you. Okay. I I look. Are you thinking <laughs> about like infiltrating them? Maybe. Are yes. there pockets in these robes? Do you want to check? Yeah. All right. So, you, yeah, there are some pockets. And in one of them, you actually pull out a book on vivisection. Mm -hmm. It's got this, and it doesn't have, you can't really, it's just got really gory pictures. But there is a note on it that says, return to library. That's gross. Ooh, <laughs> okay. So they're intelligent. Guys, I have a couple. I want to just. 
Um, okay. Jacob, I'm, good. You're, you're more of a rule follower. Will you return this to the library? Yeah, if, if I can find one. Okay, I will I, not. I just wanted to just say, though, like, putting it all together, that we met that guy upstairs, and he said that people come here for truth, and they have to spend a thousand gold, and then the, the warlock who was making people into other body parts said, pursue this place. I'm going to sell this gem for a thousand gold. <laughs> Maybe. Um, <laughs> what if we burn the gem? No. Okay. No. Mm. I need do to make you, it worth my while. Do you think that they were working together and no. taking the money of the innocent souls that they were stealing the eyeballs from? Yes. Yes. Which makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense. I don't know who these things are that look like him, but made of eyeballs. I think. <laughs> but where is the thousand gold everyone brings? Is the real question. They steal it? Maybe it was in the room of bones. No. Maybe it's just deeper inside. Maybe it's the money that they put in towards their research. Why do they have columns made of eyeballs? I just want to say that whatever's doing all this is bad what's, news. What's with the, there's, everything is eyeballs. Yeah, it's very like What are they looking for? <laughs> they still haven't found it. <laughs> what they're looking for. What are they looking for? <laughs> It's a good know. point. Wow. Curly, you gonna go into that other room to it's the like right? It's like they're making a panopticon. <laughs> I don't, I just, I leave right. the room. Going, wait. Wait, should we all put the these hallway. on? Here, before you, you. before you leave, take this and put it on. What? It's, it's way too short. Too short. It's all right. Yeah. It'll confuse it's them like for a, at least a minute. Yeah, like a, like a jacket. Sure. Um, yeah, so and the I door, it leads top. to a staircase that goes down quite a ways. I'm gonna put one on. We should all put one mm. on. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this. It just rips when you put uh, it on. I do have the dark vision. Can I see pretty far down? Do yeah. I see the bottom? Um, you can see that there is a, um, a, you know, you see a cavern, <clears throat> and you can actually see small footprints on the gr on the okay. ground all around there. It is time, Locked and I I wield my shovel instead of my sword, and I start making my way down. Before you do, can we have Jacob be behind you? <laughs> like, <to the> <laughs> Why? I just want to, like, as you, like, get ready to, like, go down, I just want to, like, I want to, like, go like this to you real quick. I want to be there with you. I just want to, <laughs> hey, like, you keep going on ahead. Can I be a part of it? Can I, can we, can we, can we be friends? All right. <laughs> 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 the me wants to say yes. The character wants to say, eh. Is this like, is this a, I can't. It's <laughs> <laughs> when we're not screaming. Yeah, yeah. Is this, is, a, is this what love is? I hate to interrupt. It really, it's a touching moment, but it, um. You <laughs> what get, who's going down? I'm going Wait, down. Yeah, 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 all right. Down. You're all, okay. Yeah. So the passageway widens into a, well, so you come down the stairs, you turn around a corner, and there's a, well-traveled intersection. There are small footprints leading in all directions. Muted thumping sounds emanate from the ceiling. Clusters of mushrooms sprout all over the place, from floor to ceiling. There are mushrooms everywhere. And you notice in this mushroom cap over here, a glassy yellow eye opens from the center of the mushroom cap. I this smash like it. Looking no, all, hang on, I'm going first. That's I have true. a shovel. I'm gonna smash the hell out of it. Shovel. All right. Um, and this then if you don't Lenny's smash it, I'm gonna smash shovel, right? it. We are absolutely in a hell mouth. <laughs> all right, so yeah, you bash it. it. As you do, all the other mushrooms, their eyes open, poof, and suddenly there are like 40 oh, mushrooms man. staring at you. Smash um, them all. Stomp See? away, boys. <laughs> okay. I jump. So, I so jump. each time, again, there's that sort of like, um, imagine stepping on a, a paper cup Upside, you're like, boom. there's like a little ah. bit of little bit of resistance, and it gives a little nice. bit of resistance. It gives, and yeah, pretty soon you have smashed all of these eyeball mushrooms to pulp. It's like it's like we're like a group of like those people in the wine, like make pretty wine. <laughs> <laughs> Smash yeah, great. you might be able to make a pate out of this or something. You know, um, is there anything else in this room? Uh, not no, nope. For the first They're time in a out. long there time, is. I feel there's... like I feel like I'm doing good for the world. I bet this would make a great risotto. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could make a risotto. Hi. What? Oh, okay, I was trying to make it. 
I'm very I confused. So you do see there is a cavern, uh, another passageway leading out, um, and none of this is. Well, there is this sort of you hear that familiar thumping, and there is a kind of ghostly light all around you. It doesn't have that smooth work look that upstairs. That this brain. definitely looks like you're back to caves and tunnels. Okay. Mm. All right. Does it look like the same that we came from, or just kind of? You're much lower. You know you're much deeper okay. in the ground. Curly, okay. are you gonna lead the way? Not a whisper of wind. Curly, Which way are you should... leading the... There's only one way. Which way is it, right? Yeah. I, I, I kind of catch on to the fact that I'm driving you guys crazy with it, so I was almost being a little facetious on that one. It's yes. not... You, you don't tell someone you're being facetious. I'm not saying that. I'm like... I pronounce narrating it my face feelings. Face us. To thank you, face Titius. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll lead the way. Okay. All right. Going. I'm gonna stand back and let him go. And in my heart, I think we could have done this together. <laughs> 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 and then I'll follow. I'll follow up from behind. So you're you're sort of, and are you move? Are you just sort of like talking open? I mean, there was a lot of sort of stamping going on, but as you move into this cave. Are you trying to be quiet? Or yes. Are you just? <laughs> I, I, I think I think our group tries to, but like it doesn't. I think I think once we would have gotten to a point where our voices start to echo off the walls, which would have been like, once. I mean, you were like the first time you hit a mushroom, you're like, oh, look at that, and you heard it echo. Mm -hmm. I think oh. I think that we would probably try to keep the talking to a minimum, but okay. we're not trying to like sneak. All right. We definitely have been talking though. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're intelligent enough to sneak. You uh, right. and you're in the lead, Curly. Yeah. Yes. So Curly, you you sort of lead them down the passageway, and it's sort of winding, and you come into a large cave, and in this cave you see, and there's another way out on the far side of it. Chains are secured to every wall of the cave. You just see these chains hanging from the wall, and up against one wall there is a hairy silver-backed brute curled up against it one arm dangling from a locked manacle. The simian beast nuzzles its head against its free arm, then starts snoring. You can see its face is devoid of eyes. How long are the chains? <clears throat> Good question. Looks pretty long. Like how long? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, could be about 10 feet long. To get across, it's about 25 feet across this room. We're not new to See? this. See, Jacob, but we chains to be are bad. <laughs> Jacob, these chain, if this chain was longer, I would I would get you a new one for Chuck, for Huckles. For Chuck. So you I could have more freedom. I appreciate that. And I come up and I take my quality cloak and I wipe the blood off of your eyes. Oh, I like that. It reminds me of where I've been. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fetish shit did we just run into? <laughs> Jacob, I don't know. I've so read about these dungeons. And he gives it to you. There we go. What just happened? I'm a sucker for nostalgia. <laughs> you got my quality cloak. Aww. Thank you. Where did you get a quality cloak? Oh, was that just. Uh... All right. I kind of I kind of brushed that off, but I'm stirred. Make <laughs> 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 uh, a personality, come on to personality me. roll. Okay. Was that a d hundred? A d twenty. Two. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the feeling that she's feeling it, but that's okay. But I am. Yeah, maybe you are. <laughs> that's all that matters. All right. Uh, so you've got this sleeping totally gorilla on a, a chain. <laughs> gorilla. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be a huge gorilla. Um, are there any eyeballs rolling around in here? Not that you see. <laughs> are you just going for are it? Are you shooting me? <laughs> <laughs> Enough she with doesn't your like you! Talk <laughs> <laughs> away from the memories! You could no, we have to find its down. eyes and, and smush are you, them. I don't... Wait, wait, what the... No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> let's just walk past it. It can't do anything. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's snoring though? It is snoring, yeah, it's asleep. So yeah. it has no eyes, but it's somehow not. Like, like what have we did? No, it's, 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 yeah. it's the same as any of the other, because the dwarf we found was snoring as well. True. 
No, the Yacoub. old man was smart. The old man was smart. Yacob? 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 Sorry. I never, I know a guy named But, Yacoub. yes, sorry. the dwarf was not you smart. You know a person this named This creature Yacoub? definitely yeah. is. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't. Them. Prove it. Give me his phone number. Uh, What's up? We're getting kind of far. There's a we're getting, sleeping we're getting gorilla. Kind of far away from like, your do I shoot sure him or not? No. But how is it alive with no eyes? How are you were alive with no eyes? I now was back not. I head. couldn't do anything with my body. But your eyes are moving. But you're alive. Yes, but this thing has control. I'm gonna like right. Scooby Doo across the the back um, wall. Yeah, I'll follow you. All right, give me. I like that idea. Uh, hunter wants to hunt. Give me an agility check. Don't worry, I'm gonna fail this. You get to fight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fifteen. Ooh. Yeah, you are. You. It's fine. You get all the way across. Uh, so I if saw you have the sneak skill, you automatically succeed. Guys, I have guys, guys, silence. It's not that hard. Okay, then I just follow. All right, give me agility check. I just walk. Uh, well, so I, walk. I saw in the book there was something well, about a minus wait, five to checks. Would that be for like a armor. sneak check? <laughs> yeah, for your armor. For my mail. <laughs> yes. Oh, what do I have to add for that? I what are you know. wearing? The chain. Leather? Chain. Oh, your chain as well. It's, it's a like, minus it's five. It's negative four. It's, I think it's four because pl- Well, I don't know. No, it's whatever your plus is the same for me. Okay. Oh, well, I rolled a then. sixteen, so You're I rolled an eleven. Fine. You're still fine. Okay. I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really? It's a minus five check penalty, minus five. Speed. So ten. I think it's a ten. I rolled a sixteen, but I have a minus one to agility, so I'm a ten. Okay. That's a minus six. Don't minus? worry, guys. I get to hunt. I rolled a two. Oh, All right. So, yeah. Uh, roll for so initiative. Okay. It leaps to its feet. I told you I should have shot it when it was sleeping. Well, shoot it now. Just walk away from it. It's on a chain. I rolled a two. Oh, my God. Just get away. Chain. No. I should have kept my chain. <laughs> Why did you keep a chain? Sorry, guys. Oh. oh my I chain. Was, I go, was I not supposed to see that? Yeah, that's OK. Yes. I roll in the open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Okay. Wow. My roll's right there. Doesn't do anything for oh! 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 Nat! Shut up. Nat 20! You're saving all of your Nat 20s for initiative rolls? <laughs> you guys don't. If I could choose. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ronald, what'd you get? Oh, 19. Wow, okay. What did you uh, get? Jamie. Two. <laughs> all right. I get my person, Beat- Kevin. Beatrix. Seven. Okay. So we definitely got our fist bump on Johanna. The main camera. Four. That's great. High five. People oh. Name him Kev Van. Like okay. Kev Van. <laughs> Four. Kevin. Um, uh, Jamie, did you tell me your score? I'm sorry. Yeah, two. Nope. Two. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. So actually, this thing, although you know it rolled quite well, it wasn't a deep sleep. So, Jacob, you're first. So can I look, like, is there a door? Like, I can just leave this room? Yeah, there's just a passageway out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, leave. Do it. I want to leave. Okay. You, you <laughs> it's not up yet, right? I don't nope, see it stirring. It no, no. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do it out. Come on, guys, we could do this. Curly. It's chained up. Hmm. I'm gonna kill it. It's chained up. Yeah. Fine. You go. You follow him. Yeah. All right. And you guys rub it off on me. Yeah, I'm, I'm following. Actually, I'm, I'm out of here. Is everyone just gonna run? <laughs> yeah. So it is at the bottom of the order. So yeah, if you all run. It's lunging after you. It, it, you, it hits the edge of its chain, right? Almost dislocating its shoulder. It wants at you so badly, but it can't, it can't hit you. So yeah, you eluded that. Well done. Mm. Uh-huh. You don't mess with the gorilla. No, yeah, no. And <laughs> it was a male silver. I was, you, I was finally- Don't worry about it. It'll rip your arms off and beat you to death. You come, you come, you sort of, you know, you had been sort of moving sneakily and then when it woke up, you started moving very fast. Yeah. And so you sort of burst into this other cavern and there is a metallic um, bang echoing from a large, from this large cavern to the south. Where you, And you see several wheelbarrows are arranged in a neat row. And um, so much depends upon the wheelbarrow. That's right. Uh, Drenched in rainwater, beside the white chickens. Yes. The stench of decay, sulfur, and mold wafts strongly from the passage to the east. So, on the far side of this passage, you see a uh, you see a bunch of wheelbarrows, and you see a tunnel leading out. And as you are staring at it, an el- the elderly man that you saw at the very beginning oh. of the cavern, steps into view. The misty man. And he is surrounded by some of those small creatures, 
all wielding daggers. And he's now in sort of flowing wizardly robes, and he's holding a large tome in his hands. Hey. Truce. <laughs> I, I have acquired the gold. I don't care. I will have your eyes. My master will have your eyes, for he is coming. And suddenly his head morphs into a huge eyeball. And this eyeball explodes off of his head and shoots off other little eyeballs on tendrils that comes flying towards you. And tendrils with eyeballs come shooting out of the walls. Roll for initiative. <laughs> oh, Is the master here? Net 20. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Wait, hold on. Hold on to those rolls. Hold on to those rolls, everybody. I feel it coming. At least this is our level one characters in our brand new campaign. Or campaign. 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 I rolled okay. I rolled okay. Yeah, I did too. Isn't that in the second video? Campaign? Yeah, after we get our new artwork, let's play the first level in D6. I know it's pretty cool. It is a little confusing. All right. All right. That would suck. Dead. My five hundred dollars on oh. artwork and die. I see that. I saw that. I know. Oh, but that's not so good. <laughs> so he has uh, four little. He's got four little henchmen with him. I look like one of them. Though. This is really, like. Jacob's yeah, having some problems with that because now he doesn't trust this guy and now he's believing <laughs> what his grandfather said again about the This guy's not a thing. guy. Now he's like a... But are they confused because we're all wearing their coats? We're wearing their coats. <clears throat> yeah, oh, yeah. Only yeah. half of you are wearing... Well, we'll see. That, that is an interesting point. You'll have to decide when it comes to these things. Okay. All right, so let me get these numbers down now. So, uh, Beatrix? Oh, not one. <laughs> <laughs> like belly shirts. Here. <laughs> <laughs> belly capes. Uh, Johanna. A ten. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jamie. Seventeen. <laughs> and. Can't take us. Jacob. No. Eighteen. Curly. <gasps> 30-20. Okay. My favorite one is And Ronald. Natural 20. Okay. Okay, unfortunately, it goes first. Oh. And it, um... Who's got the lowest luck right now? Creeper. Number 12. Oh. Nine. Oh. Eight. All right, so it goes flying at Curly. And one of its uh, iPods. <laughs> Do I get a luck point? Lashes out and uh, tries to hit you. And it actually, Bet it's, you won't. it's trying to wrap around you. Bet you mm. won't. Peeper. Okay, so ah. it's actually going to be it's an opposed strength. Jeep. It's got a seven. What? Come on, man. Be an AC check? No. Come on, dude. You got a plus zero? Do it. Nine! All oh! right, so you elude Music. its grasp. Can I, can I like snatch it and just throw it on the ground? <laughs> well, it's still, it's still attached to it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Ronald, so you've got oh, yeah. four little uh, halflings and you've got this floating <laughs> eye goo guy. Oh, he's floating? Yeah, it's like, a you know, his body sort of cloaked, kind of did a Darth Vader, or an uh, Obi-Wan sort of fell to yeah. the ground, and now mm. it's this floating eye. With lots of other eyes. Um, do these not small... to be confused with that certain intellectual property component from another game? Ah, uh, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Uh -huh. yeah. um, do the small, do the uh, henchmen seem like they're hostile to me? They have their daggers drawn. I mean, they they're they're following orders. How far how far away are they from us? Yes, thirty feet. Okay, beautiful. How high up is the uh, uh, eye? It's I mean it's it's. Close enough to hit. It's, oh, okay. It's Stay among close. it's among you trying to. Oh, I'm gonna it's check summoning that. Yep. its master. Gotta roll. 
10? Oh, this is on the giant eyeball? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 10? How do you like that 10? I don't like that 10, but I'm going to have that 10 be a 10. Cause I yeah, keep a 10 my will luck. not do it. Oh, oh, oh. Curly. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're doing it. Oh, okay. We're doing it. All right, do it. Centered on the minions. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and, and cast a all. spell, Choking Cloud. Now, because this is the first time what is this it? has happened, I oh, just want to remind you that you also have access to Spellburn. Oh, you can, you can do it. I body. slit my own throat. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, whatever you do to sort of hurt yourself. Summon yeah, the, yeah, summon the elven not. god. No? Not, okay, no. all right. Do it. Um, okay, so do I, do I go based off manifestation? Like, Well, no, so you're going to, yeah, first you're going to roll to see if it goes. Just a d20. Yep. Just a d20. Okay, do I add intelligence? Your, you add your or? intelligence and your level, I think. Yeah. Okay, plus one. <laughs> 16. Okay. okay. Now roll the manifestation. Okay. And that'll tell you what happens when the spell goes off. Okay. That is a one. It is a black cloud. All right. So black cloud comes billowing out. What is the result for a 16? A 16. Uh, up to 1d4 small individual clouds of toxic gas appear around selected multiple targets, all of which must be within range. Each cloud inflicts a negative one penalty to all rolls. Uh, for 1d4 rounds, the cloud follows their targets they can't escape. Oh my escape. gosh. Okay, so you put it on all. So, so uh, is it a 1d4 <coughs> targets? Yes, 1d4 so, targets. Okay, so roll to see how many you get. Okay, I'm sorry. There's also something that says corruption. You don't. Yeah, you're okay if you. you okay, you all right, so 1d4. Come on, four. Come on. Can I use luck if it's not four? No. It's only for d20s? Yeah, it's only for okay. d20s. It's hey! Oh! So now we'll see how long it lasts. So how many rounds, correct? Yep, how many, how many rounds? rounds? How many rounds? Hey! Okay. So suddenly, <laughs> like, like Pigpen from Charlie Brown, they all have these like brown clouds around their heads um, that are confusing them. I mean, they're going to take a minus one to everything, right? I bet you didn't like that. What? No. <laughs> no. Jacob. No. Whoa, man! <laughs> Um, I'm gonna run up to the, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna like take my, my red coat and kind of go like this as I get closer, like to, to mess with the ones in the red cloaks. <laughs> just, that's what he's doing. And then <laughs> he gets closer to the big eye. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's remembering that he hit him early on, telling him that his idea was stupid. And he goes, I got your truth right here. And he tries to jam his, his spear into the eyeball. He really has an issue with his philosophical disagreement. Well, he didn't believe in what his grandpa yeah. said, so yeah. It's Pappy more a family always, thing. Pappy's always right. Pappy's always <laughs> Man, many words. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, 13. A 13 hits? Hey. Whoa! Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to do damage. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Add what? You rolled a two on your D dice. So you have to add that and your strength bonus. I should do what you did, Ellie, where you put in order. Four. Four damage. All right. Not bad. It, um, he's, he, 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 some pus comes out, but it's still looking okay. Uh, Jamie. All right. Uh, knowing now my limitations of a uh, minus three to strength, um, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna rip off a piece of my shirt and stuff it into my oil flask. Then I'll light that and I'll throw it at the uh, the main eye guy. Okay, so it's floating. So you're hoping that it'll like sort of burst when it hits it. Or right beneath. I, I'm, I'm imagining it's like the head's like floating above <laughs> where the body is. Yeah. Well, I'm no. Going now for the it's body. now. Oh, you're going for the body. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, make it to hit roll. I think it might roast up or something. Um, 11 plus anything? 11? Yeah, I, I mean, so the, the bottle hits, the uh, the glass shatters, the oil starts to burn. You see his cloak start to burn. Um, and give me a luck check. Roll on, See if you can roll under your luck. Nope. Okay. Um, the flame does not quite reach the book. Okay. You notice with that light that the book is lying there. <sighs> Johanna. Yeah. Um, I 
does the book say like is the if the book is a tome does it say anything can i can you decipher you'd have to run over and pick it I, up. yeah i would run over there. okay um your favorite uh you don't compre uh you can't understand it right now then i cast comprehend language okay go ahead Uh, 19. Okay. You pass that. That's a pretty good roll, so. You see that word. Is it super complex Okay. Over and over again in this book. Just repeated over and over again in this book. Okay. Can I? Cast it into the flame! The it was lying in the, it was lying next to the fire by the cloak. Like the cloak was on, you know, like his cloak had just fallen to the I'll ground. I'll pick it up, and I'm guessing that's probably the end of this round, right? Because I yeah, cast a spell. You cast a spell. So I. You're just holding on to the book. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the first, so the the hot, the first halfling, uh, tries to attack you. Minus Pearly. one. Minus one. Yep. Totally miss. Oh the, yeah. The next one's going to attack Jacob. No. Minus one. Eleven. No, I have a 14. Yep, and uh, we're not friends. Coming after <laughs> you, Jamie, an 11. Guess not. Ronald, 11. No. No, so these things, they're, <laughs> they're not very tough, right? They're coming in yeah, like gremlins. Uh, Beatrix. Mm, remember, the cloud followed them. That's right, and there's clouds for floating over their heads. It's like a bad day. All right, she's going talk like to... the moms now do the wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> Love us. Truest thing about Love parenting us. I've ever seen on television. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, she's gonna aim her bow and arrow at the giant eye and Love Keepers, it. creepers, where'd you get them eyes? <laughs> nice. <gasps> there you go. 18! Oh, I was really hoping you'd miss shooting it to Melee, but that definitely hits. Okay. Who would have shot me, dude? <laughs> or me. Or Trevor? Trapped up. Four damage. Ooh, mm. all right. Mm. It oh. lodges in, oh. uh, s just sticks in it pretty hard. Yeah. Quivers, the eye quivers. And did something. it lashes out. Um. It lashes out at you. <laughs> um, okay, so it is going to hit for which is plus to hit. You take two. Oh, uh, oh that's a good point. Um, yeah, it's only a sixteen to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it okay. So you, take, you take two points of damage, okay. and then it's going to try and grapple you. No. Oh, but again, I rolled badly. So I need to. Yep. Try to, okay, beat that. Ain't got nothing! 11. That beats it. So yeah, again, you bat the tentacle down. Ronald. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm attack the eye again. Okay. Big old eye. Net one! <laughs> All right, what kind of, oh, you, what, you have leather armor? Let's get yes. ready to fumble. Wow. All right. Wow. So leather <laughs> armor, wow. give me a, uh, give me a D8 <laughs> roll, please. <laughs> oh, man. We really Seven. should be separated. Seven. Like, you more. drop your weapon. You must retrieve it or draw a new one on your next action. Uh -huh. So yeah, you swung so hard, you were so excited, it just clatters to the ground. Curly. So I know that my sword would do more damage, but popping eyeballs with a uh, <laughs> shovel is so much more satisfying. So I'm yeah, gonna try really to swap like that giant things. eyeball out of okay. the air. <laughs> 13? That, uh, yeah, that hits. All right. That is a D4. Three. And it is definitely mm -hmm. hurt. Ooh, yeah. just smack the hell out of that eyeball. Goo falling ball, out of ball. it. It's hitting the ground. Jacob. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna swing at him. Do it. Yeah, Do it. Don't get it. I want to go home! <laughs> um, uh, don't you, don't you um, your, your deep die? 
Oh, oh yeah. Describe it. Is there a deed you would like to try and just, perform? I think he would just try to go right for the, the viscous <laughs> fluid into the center of the eyeball. Where it's leaking. Hey! 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 13! Right. That hits. Okay, so that's So the deed will go. We say you actually hit it dead center in the iris. Six damage. How does it go? Yay! Yeah. So I go to, I go to, um, yeah, I want to do it this way, but that's okay. Yeah. Like I go to, I go to like, uh, and it's kind of moving around. So he just kind of takes it and, uh, and it goes like it. straight through, like th I lose my oh, weapon, it goes straight through the Yeah, arm. okay. And it, it just collapses to the ground. But my like, it goes through, like, can it go through it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and actually, okay, it goes through it and it actually like, you hear it clatter down the hallway that it, that he had moved to guard. Oh, okay. Okay, because he had, he and the, the the others had sort of moved to position themselves. Uh, as it drops, the four go scampering off. The other four go scampering off, um, away, back where you would come from, like back into the caves. Um, and you see that I want to remind you there are several wheelbarrows in this ring. You don't know why, but you see a passageway leading out. Uh, what about the uh, the body? that was still standing there in the fire. Oh, his body was never there. Like, he, he literally transformed into yeah. that goo. Got it. Into it the just, eyeball. Okay. Yeah. So all that was left was the cloak and the book. This oh, book just has the same word written over and over. Is this in another language that I would understand with this spell? Yeah, now you can, yeah. It's like some sort of cursed language, an ancient tongue. Does it mean something? Blast, right? The worst kind of speaking. Um, yes. Do you want to say it? No, please let do me it. Let me get my <laughs> write, write, write it down in the dirt. Do it. No, I'm uh, not gonna say it yet. Uh, you know, you know that it translates as the one who watches from below. I think this will summon <laughs> the master. Oh. Burn it. But what? But if we don't summon him, how are we going to kill him? What if we take these wheelbarrows and we just seal this place up? Yeah, what's in the wheelbarrows? Uh, I'm gonna go grab my spear. <laughs> so you go look at the wheel. Okay, so you go to grab your spear, and you see that there is a long hallway, and there's stairs at the end, and you think you see something glimmering. Ah, uh -huh. I knew it. Guys, I think there might be gold back there. Grab the well, let's go. Is there anything? Are you? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All, All right, right, so you I'm... grab wheelbarrows, and you're taking uh Oh, well, I'm running down the hallway. Um. You descend, so you descend a wide set of stairs carved directly into the rock. They open into an enormous chamber. The foul, musty reek is unbearable. Above you can dimly see stalactites piercing the ceiling like giant daggers. A narrow, rocky ledge extends towards the center of the pit, at the end of which lies a stone altar topped by a pile of gold coins. And actually, yeah, so, okay, just to be clear, the end of this corridor, there's a long passageway, that description's not very clear. There's a long passageway. At the end, there is an altar, and you see a pile of gold on that altar. You see two sets of stairs going down on either side of that altar, and from the distance, until you tell me you get closer, but you see more, more glowing from that spot. Let's go. Wait, wait. Remember what he said in the beginning, that the truth worth more than gold. So what if but we- But that was bullshit. But what if we- <laughs> <laughs> But what if we being greedy? It's and not then greedy, he says, we're doing ha -ha, it ha ha, the truth is that you're greedy, and then he kills us. Yeah, but he's dead. What What if? We got his book. Thief. What if the check truth is trap. don't be greedy? Oh yeah, I can do that. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna check or for traps. Or that's just some right. kind of crap that so you go say down. To, you want go to down to look, and yeah. yeah, sure enough, I mean, it's obvious. This pit <laughs> is filled with enough treasure to fill ten dragon hordes. Mm. Like so, there's the gold. There's like a, and now that you're here, you can see some loose gold, and there's like a locked chest sitting on this altar, mm. and then down the two stairs. There are massive piles, gold, gold coins, gems, some swords, some big chests. I like, feel like this is 
It's reeks of Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> Everything it, I needed to know, I learned <laughs> from Disney. Is it trapped? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's right Give me a roll. Uh, Seven. Uh, Wait, I think I get a you do plus get a like bonus. one. Come on, man. And what are you checking for traps exactly? Yeah. Trip wire. Like where? Like, are you checking the oh, altar like, where the coins are? Do yeah. You want to I need you to check all of it. Yeah, like, Hang on. check. Have we already gotten there? Because we, you should check the floor as we're walking there. Well, well I think with that's. I think you're already that. there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you pushed those <laughs> wheelbarrows. You got to the yeah. end. He has now so moved to check eight. the chest. So it's, okay. so it's an eight, but it's like running. I'm checking yeah. like. I think we the altar. Yeah, I did. Right. <laughs> that is true. I think you did. Beatrix doesn't trust it, and she's. She didn't Can you please the see if there's magic here? I don't know how I did that last time, but I will try. Oh, great powers of magic! <laughs> Are you here? And she's gonna attempt. Why to does you. your God help you? Never. Have I. <laughs> <laughs> Such a crisis of faith. <laughs> Oh, great powers of magic. 15. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you want to tell me the result? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Are tell you me if this here? book is magic, too, while you're at it. <laughs> oh, great powers of magic. Are you here? You <laughs> <laughs> Little Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, oh, Pete, that is yeah, how as you soon as you know oh. your god's name, then it'll be happier with you. I want to make, sorry, I wanna, I wanna make a magic player that's just all magical tropes. <laughs> the player is aware of magic on any object or creature within range of 30 feet. Okay, so from where you are standing, did, did you, wait, did you say you did or did not move down the hall? Because I thought you, you did go. Did you go down to the edge? I, I am in that room, but I didn't go to the altar. Are you within 30 How, feet yeah, of are the you altar? Within 30 feet of the altar? To within cast 30 feet the spell? Yeah. Okay, you do, you blow you do up. notice that yes, the book glows with magic. And you see two items probably about 30 feet down. Like if you were to go down the stairs and go ahead another 30 feet, you see like a wand glowing over Ooh. here. And over here, there's like a long sword glowing. It's probably mm. 50 feet down in there. Okay. I want glowing, that. glowing, glowing, yes. definitely glowing. Hey, I need that. I need that. So is this trapped? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, 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 need, I need this. You don't see any traps. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, go get the go get the sword and the wand. Not, I I'll the get wand. this. I've got a ten foot pole. If that helps, you can poke things with it and see if they explode. I. <laughs> I'm gonna can take I have out a my sword? hammer. Is it a padlock? I've never had oh, a sword. Oh, on the uh, on the trap. On the, um, no, it's like just a lock. Can I take this? I've never owned a sword before. Yeah, hey, if you go get You'll it. get it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Close. Okay, so Jacob, you go down there? I'm gonna go down to get the sword. Okay, so you go down, and again, the sword, you're like stumbling over piles of gold, and as you, uh, as, you as you pick up the sword, a sudden blast of wind from the pit, from the center, almost knocks you to the ground. The entire chamber glows with sickly green light coming from the pit as a gargantuan black rubbery mass of tendrils, fins, and eye stalks bursts like gold coins go flying everywhere as this thing bursts from it. Um, the hair on your neck stands up as the writhing stalks twist in the air again, like multiple stalks with eyes. And then, uh, and they each has glowing irises of orange, like pools of fire. And then suddenly on the walls, Eyes, 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 eyes. There are eyes all around you in this entire chamber. Um, and a maddening sound like screeching monkeys and breaking glass thunders in your skull. Is it some kind of language? The eyes on the wall start to drift along the wall and they start to descend towards you. And then the walls shudder and the stalactites begin to crash from the ceiling. Roll for initiative. Fill your magic! pockets and run! Magic! <laughs> That's magic! It's technically I'm not technic a trap. <laughs> like, I technically did my job. I get the sword. Yeah. I get the sword. It's not a trap. It's just a creature. Oh. That is true. Yeah. I didn't detect creature. Nope. Hmm. That one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. At least it's on initiative. It's just initiative. We're good. You're gonna be first to die. First. To okay. Uh, Jamie. Last to go. First Seven. To die. Huckles ain't gonna have no one. 
And I, just to be, yeah, I just want you to imagine stalactites crashing to the ground, oh. walls shaking, eyeballs descending upon you. Johanna. 18. I got a plan, don't worry. collects me. eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, he tricks. He's got it. Five. It all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ronald. It's so good. Cool. It's so simple. Trevor, I have a plan, I just need your help. Curly. Oh. Five. Well, I need a help. Yell it out in character. All right. Get it done. Uh, I'm gonna create. A car. Did I get everybody? I'm gonna create madness. Man. Johanna, did I get you? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes, yeah, so. Mmm. Look at this dice goblin bag. It's a nice bag. Session that is a nice zero. bag. Session zero. I keep looking at the. I don't know why I'm so enthralled by the size of the closure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I just. It's like an unstuffed JoJo Domino. All right, here we go. Uh, Johanna, you are first. And so you're standing at the top of the, you know, at the altar. There's some gold coins there. I was standing closer to the stairs. Okay. Because I, I am. I don't know why that's that one. Where is the exit from back here? The back the way. Back the way. Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to grab the wand and then run. Okay. You that's can there. get to the wand on yeah. your turn. So you go running down the stairs, 30 feet then into the pit to grab the, um, and I tell Mittens to go. Wand. It is the Titan's turn, and... The Titan. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I might have just said that out loud. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that so out loud. So do we stand a chance? Now I do a stat block! All right, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how stats even work. Yeah, me so, uh, This creature's immune to... So uh, uh -huh. one of its tendrils whips out at you. Um, probably a nine misses. Yeah, it does. Okay, and then another one. Um, an 11. Will hit me. Okay. Uh, you're gonna take uh, three points of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Jacob, one comes at you. Oh no. Totally missing. And then um, oh, a ray that. comes firing from one of the eyes at you on the wall. Oh God, they've got lasers. <laughs> <laughs> and it misses. It's over me. Um, it's over and another me. one comes at you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, the 11 misses, right? Yeah. Okay, and I want you to ah! imagine like, they're all like, those are just the two that got closer. Okay, like, yeah. There are many more eyes coming. Ronald. Um. All right, I got a plan. I'm gonna get into this wheelbarrow. You're gonna start pushing, but first I'm gonna pick up another wheelbarrow, sit in the wheelbarrow, and like put it on top. What? So you're telling me you're hiding in a wheelbarrow, yes. pulling a wheelbarrow on top That's of you, and asking dead. someone else to push you? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're, yeah. right. <laughs> you're an asshole. interesting thought. Uh, we'll see how that right. plays out. I like it. He I'm plays his character. character. This he's doing his character. The consequences Does he of this game Does are he unforgiving, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does he though? Hey. I am gonna like makeshift tank. Jamie? You're not. Exactly. Nobody wants to be near you then. <laughs> oh, good um good. Solid. Are we gonna are we actually gonna fight? I don't think so. I don't I don't know. Is she like looking around? She's just filling up her pockets with gold and getting ready to run. Okay, so like the gold that's sort of loose on the altar. Yeah. You're like just trying to shove yeah, some yeah, gold yeah, in yeah, your yeah, pockets. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. but you're not running yet. Uh, I I if if it's something I can also do this turn, I don't know how much you'll let me do, but I I intend on filling up my pockets and leaving. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> as you're filling your pocket, one of the eyeballs shoots out Ooh. at you. And oh, yeah, so a 20 will hit, right? <laughs> okay. And... It's fun when you don't play a monk. <laughs> <laughs> no deflecting palm on that. Six? Oh my yeah. lord. Coin, coin, You coin, become a pony. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, you are a pony. I can't make a noise. You can, you can think. That's you a pony. That's a pony noise. You can, still, you can hey. still, you can still think, but you are a pony. A pony. Um, Curly. 
I'm just so happy that a giant <laughs> tentacle demon turned you into a well, it, was, it, was, it was one of the eyes. Yeah. One of the red, one of the eyes from the walls. Oh, How big is the chest? <laughs> it's it's important. I pick up the chest. Kick over the wheel. Okay. I get on yes, the you pony. Are. Yes, you are. Ah, oh, damn it, I wanted to. And we take off down the hallway. All right, one eye is coming in. I mean? don't care. 14? Miss! All right. Oh! So you, you drive your side into the pony. Yes. Damn it. Uh, Beatrix. Come get me. Come L- get me. I will name you Little Sebastian. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye, little, little Sebastian. Sebastian. Uh, Beatrix, you see your friend is like 60 feet down in the pit. Not 30. With this, you said 30. Well, 30 you feet down 30. the steps, then 30 feet in. Oh. I was in the bathroom. Yeah. What happened? Did you get flown in there? She, no, she She's ran dead. in to get the oh, you... wand. The chick damn it. Ja- Jamie, what you want to gonna do? I'm in a wheelbarrow. You're gonna want to push. He's me. hiding. Oh uh, yeah, you just—he's dead. Yeah. No, I'm just gonna okay. wait it out. So, is there a stalagmite above this eyeball? It's hard to, I mean, it's it's huge. So there are probably several. Okay. And some of them are crashing down. Okay. Um, who did? Who did? I just knew. And she, I want to shoot up to try and cause. Uh, stalagmites to fall. They're already falling. It's just they are already falling, falling, but you're going to try and see if there's one that you might be able to get to fall on it. Yes. Oh, try that. Go ahead. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Exciting. I like it. Just... Action packed. Clever. <laughs> no. Get your arrow. arrow goes whistling off into the distance. I'm Jacob. So but can I run towards the, the pit, though? What is this? What's that? Oh, can I run yes. towards the pit? You can. You okay. can get to the bottom. You're now 30 feet away from okay. her. Yeah, um... That's fine. Okay, you uh, pull this sword. It has a blood red hilt and black tassels. Ooh. I'm gonna have to tell you something about it right now. Oh, God. I mean, I'm gonna have to tell you something about it a little bit later. It's you feel cursed. an urge to kill. It's cursed. Oh, you want to kill it. <laughs> but not so much that you can't control it. Okay. Like you, but you feel that desire. Mm. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, even though he really wants to kill, he doesn't think that this thing fits the description. He is definitely going to run. Okay. An eyeball shoots out at you from the wall. That's a 20. Yeah, that'll hit. I'm saying. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, He's giggling. <laughs> <laughs> you, the sword clatters to the ground as you become a cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mittens tries to is, fight you. Do I still have the urge to kill? No, because you can't hold the sword. Pick it up. I'm just gonna <laughs> drag it by its tail. <laughs> 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 so he's gonna, the gonna grab the sword. So okay, you can still drag yeah, it. So it's really slowing, yeah. it's really slowing you down. It's really slowing you down, but you can drag it. Johanna. I am going to cast force manipulation to try to make a force shield to protect us. Okay. Whoa. I am, um, if I could, just because it's a new thing, wizards typically know that they must suffer for their magic. Things are dire here. Oh, I know. Okay. So, I do I have to choose the spell burn beforehand? Yeah. Oh, I can't do it after that. No. It's not like luck. You have to burn have to do down. She yeah. regains. I would grab. Right? I, one she does one, one. I would eight. grab the wand. Yeah, I figured you had the wand. Okay. Yep. Um, I don't have any urge to kill. Them. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. So I. So to the spell burn, I. You're gonna pick how many of your stats you're gonna burn from the from the three. How many points from your physical stats? Okay. And then I just add and that. And add points. that to your roll. Yeah. What makes a stat a negative? I think that's at a nine? No, nine is still zero, so it's so eight. eight. Eight, yeah. Okay. I don't know that, because I have nine. Okay, we're gonna take this, we're gonna do, we're gonna make this one a nine. And what goes to a negative two? Negative two. Be a six. <laughs> Five. I have. Six. Oh, six. six. And I get one of these back a day. Yeah. I think forever. I've got six as negative one. Six. So six, seven, eight is negative one. Should be I, seven and eight is negative yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Five, six is negative two. And here it's like, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it could Just be take, different take, here. Take a two. Seven. Six. 
Seven is negative. Hold on, hold on. I have Five is I negative have, two. I have six is negative one as well. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. And then change these to sixes. So six is negative one. Yeah. So I'll get two. I'll get three. I get four. Ooh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna get a plus nine. And what do you do? I poke my eyes. You're not. You want my eyes? They're gonna be useless. Oh, you love yeah. it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. You're like jabbing yourself in the yeah. eyes. Love it. Okay. That's pretty good. In eye for and an eye. And bleeding. Right. Your eyes are now bleeding. Red pouring down your cheeks. What are you doing? No! Oh, I expand my luck. Oh, we can't on a one. You can't. No. Nope. Oh. No. So you're gonna get a corruption on. Too, yeah. Right? So you're gonna oh. have to roll. Do I still get the nine? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I had plus nine. I know. So I'm tight. sorry. Okay. Oh no. Um. Okay. Uh, corruption's a D five. And no, she can't see. <laughs> yeah. I well, she didn't blind herself. She just no. Didn't I didn't really hurt herself. herself. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that was cool. Do you have to, <laughs> do you have to roll to see if the major or minor corruption? <laughs> it just says corruption just like, D five. Okay. Are you dumb? It's like, <laughs> or there's a misfire. This is just a corruption, right? Uh, well, you rolled a one, right? Yeah. It's, oh. There's a corruption and misfire. Okay. It's so, oh, does, does it say, does it, what does it say? It says corruption and? There's two. There's corruption and misfire. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, and it doesn't tell you anything more specifically? No. Huh? Okay, oh, I've got it. Okay, I've got a generic spell, misfire. All right, so first the corruption, give me a d10. A d10? Yep. Oh. Seven. Okay, you suddenly have chills all over your body. You're uh, forever going to be shaking. Okay. And actually your teeth will chatter which will make it impossible for you to be perfectly silent. Okay, that's Your teeth fine. will always chatter. And now, roll a d8. For oh, the no. misfire? Yep. Oh no. Better not fire into my car. <laughs> Three. Sorry, see All right, rain, but it's not water. The winner, the wizard <laughs> inadvertently causes a torrential <laughs> downpour oh, of, no. roll a d6. Oh, oh my gosh! Blood. <laughs> six. Snakes! <laughs> <laughs> Five percent chance. But they are like eyes. eyes. They can't go through the eyeballs. Okay, they're not poisonous. But yes. Are oh. they? Are they on my side? They're on nobody's side. <laughs> they're they're on the snake side. They're, they're on their own pouring side. Pouring down. <laughs> snakes are pouring down from the ceiling. I think I read that snakes don't like eyes. All around. <laughs> I, I run. Do I still get a movement? Yeah, you can. Okay, <laughs> so you're only gonna get thirty feet. So you get to the foot of the stairs. Now yeah. Foot of the stairs. All right. I and, thought this would help. An eyeball looks at you. Does a 14 hit? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm a 10. I'm sorry, I thought this would have helped. All right. <laughs> Six. 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 OK. Um, give me a will save. OK. Shut up. Why do you have to be snakes? I'm talking to you. I snakes. And you like eight? OK. <laughs> Um. You see a uh, halfling, you see a, a ray come pouring over her. She shudders in pain. Uh, Are you giving me any luck? Am I close enough? He's gone. I like it. Oh, he's yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was being oh, great. Right. And he's on here. the horse. Yeah, he's, he's not. I'm a he pony. is the horse. So I'm a pony, baby. You're going to take stick Nay. Nay. Yeah, I don't think I can burn yeah. it now. So you take five points of damage. Okay. Ride it. You still up? Pony. Yeah, because of my familiar. <laughs> okay, good. Because um, now it's going to lash at you with a tentacle. Okay. This is two. Are you still down there? You cat. are, but you're a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a sexy cat. <laughs> <laughs> but cat. You're, pull you're pulling the sword, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to try and hit you. Uh, I don't know my AC 14. Is. My in chain mail it was yeah. 14. Yeah. Yeah, but he's tiny. But I'm a sexy tiny yeah, cat. Yeah, I think that's probably I'm gonna hit you. Yeah. Oh, I'm a cat. Oh, cat. I'm a sexy cat. I'm a surrounded by slithery snakes. Oh, all these snakes <laughs> and cats. Snakes, snakes. Better, better. Uh, four points of damage. It's a 17 feeling. How much? Four. Okay. 
Um, Ronald, you hear dying and screaming and agony. You hear the clatter of uh, hooves beating as they run, as they echo Just down the hallway. All right, it. seeing that nobody's pushing the car, <laughs> I'm going to like get off and like have the wheelbarrow lay on top of me and like turtle my way out of this place. All right, so you're crawling on your hands and knees under a turtle shell of, the cave is shaking, things are crashing down, you're moving at a good five feet around. Perfect. I, I All right. the stalagmite impales you. Uh, oh, Jamie, I'm you're galloping. Right? Right? Last game yep. I played with Eli. Yep. <laughs> what are you talking you about? Yeah, he, uh, he's, he's, riding, he's, he's riding me out of the cave. All that's right. my understanding, right? That's what's... That's Everyone's what running, to, to, right? To anyone you. trying to... You're all wanting to escape, right? <laughs> And <laughs> out of the gate, we are dying. <laughs> You're gonna have to give up the sword. I. It makes I, sense. I want to get to a point to where I feel like we would be safe, so that we could turn around and try to get more people. But I wanted to get that chest out of there. Right. So you do have the chest, mm -hmm. and this is what's gonna happen. You can get to you get to the foot of the ladder. <laughs> you climb to get down here. You Put your leave, gloves you are leave on. the pony there because you haven't figured out how to get the pony. You go running back. The cave is collapsing. You rip the wheelbarrow off of Ronald and pull him out. You escape. You don't get no, the sword, you keep the wand. Um, give me your best, give me your best explanation for how you will get a pony up a ladder. Sell me on this. Mittens. Okay. Well, help four. It's the size of like a hawk. Yep. My The cat just gets up the ladder real quick and he starts meowing, meow, 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 meow over by Huckles. <laughs> and the chain. <laughs> yep. The 10 foot chain. Okay. I'll grab the chain. So you go crying up the ladder, you get the chain. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think I've read that horses can climb ladders. <laughs> There are lots of chains. Wait, I didn't get my second turn. Did everyone go twice? A week out, no, we're he's, escaping. He's, yeah, he's, we're escaping. Oh, okay, because I was going to try and throw you and the sword on the wheelbarrow and run out with her. You? Any possible way? Uh, give me a luck check. Okay. All right, I looked it up. You can't expect a horse to climb a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> and he's back. He's back. <laughs> yeah, saved. Can I saved, feel saved under my luck? You do. I did. Oh. All right, I will let you do that. Yeah! 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 What happened? So I was gonna, I was gonna grab her and throw her on the wheelbarrow. And you kill the up, cat. I was gonna pick up the cat and toss him on and run out pushing. You rode the You grab the sword. You have the urge to kill, so you kill the cat. Yes. <laughs> All right, and as you were running, I mean, I want you to picture sort of like that scene in. Um, Oh, is it the, the first Lord of the Rings, right? Where they're running under the, and you see all oh, the yeah, shadows yeah. like pouring after oh, yeah. them. So it's all coming when they're in the Casa Doom, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they're running all the real, the real after man. Them. All these eyes are coming after you. Okay. But you run, you get there, the chain comes down, you haul this horse up. That lasts about three hours, by the way. <laughs> trans, trans music. Okay. Transformations last. I meant three, three hours. hours. <laughs> oh no no! While they're <laughs> animal shape. Are we? Do we feel like we would be safe waiting at the base of the ladder to see if the polymorph wears off? No. No. Because the, the whole thing is collapsing. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah. Like on real it's, like, it's like tearing the Listen, place. There's a lot of us to hoist this pony. Yeah. You feel like the whole thing is collapsing. Yeah. Uh, uh, whoever's the two strongest people, one person should go to the top and start pulling or like tie tie the other chain to you and tie it to the pony and start climbing. Second strongest person should be underneath, just pulling, and the pony should be able to kind of, because he's intelligent. Should be yeah, able he's to trying to up. cooperate. Yeah. yeah, he's not, he's not, you not cooperating. You can't expect um, it to, but it still can. You're sort of running your whole way out, and I will tell you that when you get to that opening chamber, there is a dwarf holding one eye. <gasps> I was right. Ah! Did you oh. see my other eye? No. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> You just leave me with one eye. Wait, I'm lied. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna point way. down there. You one eye. I can't talk. I'm a pony. It went under the. It went under the wall. What wall? Oh, all right, whatever. Can you heal me? We no. can heal this dwarf. Yes, fix him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and see how that works. Give me a give me a give me a lay on hands roll. Right. She's going to poke at the missing <laughs> socket. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, just explodes. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. All right. So it does not restore his eye, okay. but now he can, he can put a stylish patch on it. Okay. And uh, he's okay. And you feel like a, like a dome of your god's approval, <laughs> and you get out the front end of the cave. I would like to scratch him because I don't <laughs> like the gods, his god, and I'm next to the sword. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You do. He's like, Bloody hell! He whaps you. <laughs> um. So, well done, you're live. Let me tell you a little bit about what you have. I have a lot Ooh. of curses. You have, yeah, so we'll have to talk about it. So, Can you hit the uh, that gem is definitely cursed. Yeah, so, I'm gonna definitely give it to someone. So you'll have to decide what you wanna do with that. You have a sword called Sparkle Fang. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so awesome. It, awesome. Is, a, it is a plus one long sword. It has an intelligence of five, which is basically just enough to communicate simple urges to you. That's uh, a plus one. One d eight plus. Sorry, yep, plus one. one. <laughs> and it actually <laughs> hates <laughs> vampires. Its bane is vampires. Oh, it is as smart as me. <laughs> and it really wants you. It wants through you to dominate other people. Ah. Like what it wants is to be powerful and in control. Vengeance sword. Okay. You have a blue wand that allows you to cast force manipulation once per day that will cause a tower shield sized wall of force at a point within 25 feet. That mean It'll I give you a plus four AC to adjacent characters. It doesn't move, but no, you don't have to roll. You can make this wall and it'll stay there. And those of you who stuck your, so you grabbed the lock chest, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's empty. Does it count if I stuff my pocket? Yeah, we're gonna roll for that too. <laughs> Heck yeah, it counts. Does Someone it? told me it's all about the money. Yeah, then we I did agree money. upon that. Heck the yeah. best things in life are free. <laughs> all right, the, the lockbox has to... 82 gold in it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We determined that the box was magical. Is there something? When you said? Oh no, not the box. No, the the book. book. The book. book was magical. The book. Damn. What did the book say? Oh. And the <laughs> you, oh. that you managed to, you managed to oh. stuff twenty gold in your pocket. What you are going to get. You're going to roll randomly. In that book, there are two spells. Oh. So you'll have to roll for them, but you will get two what more level? spells. One. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. Can one of them be? But remember, I mean, they're still great spells. No, they are. All right, and you are out. You're alive, a couple hours wow, pass. We all and made it. That oh. is the one who watches. The me. one who watches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you wanna say it now? No, how bad how bad was this book? Burn it! She got the little bub! Yeah. It would have uh, so the whole town I mean, it's the name of what you were fighting with that, that Titan is just one like fingertip. Of its manifestation. Oh, Ooh. like think, That's think, thing? think old one. Yeah. yeah. So we should have fought. So that thing. <laughs> so you were just seeing the tip oh, of its power. And so just the tip. I still have. It's like an old So if I say this, would he come out? Or would he be scared? Is it like cursed? It's definitely bad. You should give yeah. him the, the gem. You should like go to a town and be like, you should read this when we leave. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of people together to say it with you. Chaotic evil. I'm gonna learn the spell out of here and then I'm gonna get rid of that book. I'm a lower. So thank you all for watching. This was Dungeon, yeah. Dungeon, Dungeon, yeah. Dungeon yeah. Crawl yeah. Classics. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Uh, Dungeon Crawl well Classics. done, your first First level, level adventure. Relive. So now, as I was, I was saying this to Allie, we're going to be playing a level two adventure from my company, yeah. all, uh, Chaos Before the Mast. It's a seafaring adventure at Gen Con. Yeah. 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 So level right. these characters level up. Two. Yeah. Level two. And go two. to the go level to the Goodman uh, Games website because they have character sheets for the classes. Yeah. Nice. So you'll want one for each class. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope you all had fun watching us. We had fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. We had fun playing with you. Yeah, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Oh, when's our next, our, next our next game? Um, we're supposed to be playing Pathfinder next Wednesday, but I need to confirm. Okay, so tentatively next Wednesday, same time. Oh, is, it next, is it next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. The next Wednesday. Okay. So, yeah, all right. Yeah, so, we our awesome. first foray into Pathfinder as role seekers. Yeah. So. I still need to find a rule book. And this is second edition. Pathfinder. They're all second Yeah, second all, edition. And then our full campaign starts in September. Uh, the, 
okay. the campaign is called The Light of Tithe. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, same world as our last campaign, but an entirely new continent, new characters, level one. Yeah. And, this, and this is Dungeons and Dragons, but it's your creation. Entirely yeah, homebrew, new. homebrew, uh, D&D. &D. Loosely, yeah, loosely, loosely 5E. 5E. Uh, and the players don't know this, so this is the announcement, ah, special, ah, special thing well, for the group. Um, there will be a few ways in the continent, in the world, Resurrection spells do not work in time. Oh, we gonna die. That's, that's, so this was good to prepare. That's right. It's good to have a little practice with these deadline campaigns. Then I, what do I do? Right. Oh, you're a cleric. Don't you're, gonna, you're not gonna be a healing cleric anyways. You don't yeah. know me. <laughs> you don't know what I said. You did, you did kind of make that clear. You're like, I don't want to heal you. All right, guys. All right, good, good night, night, everybody. So Thank nice. you. Bye-bye. Nice. Bye. Mm -hmm. So Bye. we have so these characters. Inside my